once upon a time in the magical land of Equestria. There were two regal sisters who ruled together and created harmony for all the land. To do this, the eldest used her unicorn powers to raise the sun at dawn. The younger brought out the moon to begin the night. Thus, the two sisters maintained balance for their kingdom and their subjects, all the different types of ponies. But as time went on, the younger sister became resentful. The ponies relished and played in the day her elder sister brought forth, but shunned and slept through her beautiful night. One fateful day, the younger unicorn refused to lower the moon to make way for the dawn. The elder sister tried to reason with her, but the bitterness in the young one's heart had transformed her into a wicked mare of darkness, Nightmare Moon. She vowed that she would shroud the land in eternal night. Reluctantly, the elder sister harnessed the most powerful magic known to Ponydom, the Elements of Harmony. Using the magic of the Elements of Harmony, she defeated her younger sister and banished her permanently in the moon. The elder sister took on responsibility for both sun and moon, and Harmony has been maintained in Equestria for generations since. Hmm, Elements of Harmony. I know I've heard of those before, but where? My little pony, my little pony, ah, my little pony. I used to wonder what friendship could be. My little pony. Until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have my Moondancer is having a little get-together in the West Castle Courtyard. You want to come? Oh, sorry, girls. I got a lot of studying to catch up on. <sighs> Does that pony do anything except study? I think she's more interested in books than friends. I know I've heard of the Elements of Harmony. an old copy of Predictions and Prophecies. What's that for? Well, it was a gift for Moondancer, but... Oh, Spike, you know we don't have time for that sort of thing. But we're on a break! No, 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 no! Ugh. Spike! It's over here! Elements, elements, e, e, e. Aha! Elements of harmony. See Mare in the Moon? Mare in the Moon? But that's just an old pony's tale. Mare, Mare. Aha! The Mare in the Moon, myth from olden pony times. A powerful pony who wanted to rule Equestria, defeated by the elements of harmony and imprisoned in the moon. Legend has it that on the longest day of the thousandth year, the stars will aid in her escape, and she will bring about nighttime eternal. <gasps> Spike, do you know what this means? No. <laughs> Take a note, please. To the princess. Oh, Doki. My dearest teacher, my continuing studies of pony magic have led me to discover that we are on the precipice of disaster. Hold on. Prissy. Prissy. Threshold. Where? Uh, Brink? Uh, that something really bad is about to happen. For you see, the mythical Mare in the Moon is in fact Nightmare Moon, and she's about to return to Equestria and bring with her eternal night. Something must be done to make sure this terrible prophecy does not come true. I await your quick response. Your faithful student, Twilight Sparkle. Twilight Sparkle! Got it! <laughs> 
Great. Send it. Now? Of course. Uh, I don't know, Twilight. Princess Celestia is a little busy getting ready for the summer sun celebration. And it's like the day after tomorrow. That's just it, Spike. The day after tomorrow is the thousandth year of the summer sun celebration. It's imperative that the princess is told right away. Impera? Impera? Important! Uh -huh. Okay, okay. <gasps> there. It's on its way. But I wouldn't hold your breath. Oh, I'm not worried, Spike. The princess trusts me completely. In all the years she's been my mentor, she's never once doubted me. <laughs> See? I knew she would want to take immediate action. <clears throat> my dearest, most faithful student, Twilight, you know that I value your diligence and that I trust you completely. Mm -hmm. But you simply must stop reading those dusty old books. <gasps> My dear Twilight, there is more to a young pony's life than studying. So I'm sending you to supervise the preparations for the Summer Sun Celebration in this year's location, Ponyville. And I have an even more essential task for you to complete. Make some friends. Aww. Look on the bright side, Twilight. The princess arranged for you to stay in a library. Doesn't that make you happy? Yes. Yes, it does. You know why? Because I'm right. I'll check on the preparations as fast as I can, then get to the library to find some proof of Nightmare Moon's return. Then when will you make friends like the princess said? She said to check on preparations. I am her student, and I'll do my royal duty, but the fate of Equestria does not rest on me making friends. <laughs> Thank you, sirs. Maybe the ponies in Ponyville have interesting things to talk about. Come on, Twilight, just try. Uh, hello? <gasps> well, that was interesting, all right. <sighs> Summer Sun Celebration Official Overseer's Checklist. Number one, banquet preparations, Sweet Apple Acres. Yeah! <laughs> Let's get this over with. Good afternoon. My name is Twilight Sparkle. Well, how to do, Miss Twilight? A pleasure making your acquaintance. I'm Applejack. We here at Sweet Apple Acres sure do like making new friends. Friends? Actually, I... So, what can I do you for? <clears throat> well, I am, in fact, here to supervise preparations for the Summer Sun Celebration. And you're in charge of the food? We sure as sugar are. Would you care to sample some? Well, as long as it doesn't take too long. Soup song, every pony! <laughs> now, why don't I introduce y'all to the Apple family? Thanks, but I really need to hurry. This here's Apple Fritter. Apple Bumpkin. Red Gala. Red Delicious, Golden Delicious, Caramel Apple, Apple Scoodle, Apple Tart, Baked Apples, Apple Brioche, Apple Cinnamon Crisp, <laughs> Big Macintosh, Apple Bloom, and Granny Smith. Up and at him, Granny Smith. We got guests. <laughs> so sure, I'm a hair color, color. Why, I'd say they're already part of the family. <laughs> Okay, well, I can see the food situation is handled, so we'll be on our way. Aren't you gonna stay for brunch? Sorry, but we have an awful lot to do. Aww. Fine. Yeah! <laughs> Food's all taken care of. Next is weather. Ugh, I ate too much pie. Hmm, there's supposed to be a Pegasus pony named Rainbow Dash clearing the clouds. Well, she's not doing a very good job, is she? Uh. <laughs> uh, excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> Let me help you. Oops, I, I 
guess I overdid it. Um, uh, how about this? My very own patented brain blow dry. No, no, don't thank me. You're quite welcome. <laughs> Let me guess. Your Rainbow Dash. The one and only. Why, you heard of me? I heard you're supposed to be keeping the sky clear. <sighs> I'm Twilight Sparkle, and the princess sent me to check on the weather. Yeah, yeah, that'll be a snap. I'll do it in a jiffy, just as soon as I'm done practicing. Practicing for what? The Wonder Bolts! They're gonna perform at the celebration tomorrow, and I'm gonna show them my stuff. The Wonder Bolts? Yep. The most talented flyers in all of Equestria? That's them. <laughs> Please, they'd never accept a Pegasus who can't even keep the sky clear for one measly day. Hey, I could clear the sky in 10 seconds flat. Prove it. <laughs> Flat. I'd never leave Ponyville hanging. <laughs> you should see the look on your face. <laughs> You're a laugh, Twilight Sparkle. I can't wait to hang out some more. Wow! She's amazing! <laughs> wait! It's kind of pretty once you get used to it. Decorations. Beautiful. Yes, the decor is coming along nicely. This ought to be quick. I'll be at the library in no time. Beautiful indeed. Not the decor. <sighs> no, no, no. Oh, goodness, no. Hmm. How are my spines? Are they straight? Good afternoon. Just a moment, please. I'm in the zone, as twere. Oh, yes. Sparkle always does the trick, does it not? Why, Rarity, you are a talent. Now, um, how can I help you? <laughs> oh, my stars, darling! Whatever happened to your coiffure? Oh, you mean my mane? Well, it's a long story. I'm just here to check on the decorations and then I'll be out of your hair. Out of my hair? What about your hair? Wait, where are we going? Help! No! No. Uh, too green, too yellow, too poofy, not poofy enough, too frilly, too shiny. Now go on, my dear. You were telling me where you're from. I've uh, been sent from Canterlot to... Huh? Canterlot? Oh, I am so envious, the glamour, the sophistication. I have always dreamed of living there. I can't wait to hear all about it. We are gonna be the best of friends, you and I. Emerald? What was I thinking? Let me get you some rubies. Quick, before she decides to dye my coat a new color. <sighs> Wasn't she wonderful? Focus, Casanova. What's next on the list? <clears throat> oh, uh, music. It's the last one. Please, everyone. Um, excuse me, sir. I mean, no offense, but your rhythm is just a teeny tiny bit off. Now, follow me, please. A one, a two, a one, two, three. Hello! <gasps> oh my, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to frighten your birds. I'm just here to check up on the music, and it's sounding beautiful. I'm Twilight Sparkle. What's your name? Um, I'm Fluttershy. I'm sorry, what was that? Um, uh, my name is Fluttershy. Didn't quite catch that. <laughs> well, um, it looks like your birds are back. So I guess everything's in order. Keep up the good work. Okay. Well, that was easy. 
baby dragon! <laughs> oh, I've never seen a baby dragon before. He's so cute. Well, well, well. Oh, my. He talks. I didn't know dragons could talk. That's just so incredibly wonderful. I... I just don't even know what to say. Well, in that case, we'd better be going. Oh, wait, wait. What's his name? I'm Spike. Hi, Spike. I'm Fluttershy. Wow, a talking dragon. And what do dragons talk about? Well, what do you want to know? Absolutely everything. Ugh. Well, I started out as a cute little purple and green egg. And that's the story of my whole entire life. Well, up until today. Do you want to hear about today? Oh, yes, please. Ah! I am so sorry. How did we get here so fast? This is where I'm staying while in Ponyville, and my poor baby dragon needs his sleep. No, I don't. Ah! Aw, look at that. He's so sweepy he can't even keep his widow balance. Poor thing. You simply must get him to bed. Yes, yes. We'll get right on that. Well, good night. Huh. Rude much? Sorry, Spike. But I have to convince the princess that Nightmare Moon is coming and we're running out of time. I just need to be alone so I can study without a bunch of crazy ponies trying to make friends all the time. Now, where's the light? Libraries are supposed to be quiet. <laughs> well, that's silly. What kind of welcome party would this be if it were quiet? I mean, duh, boring. You see, I saw you when you first got here, remember? You were all hello and I was all, <gasps> remember? You see, I never saw you before, and if I never saw you before, that meant you're new. Because I know every pony, and uh... I mean every pony in Ponyville. And if you're new, it meant you hadn't met anyone yet. And if you haven't met anyone yet, you must not have any friends. And if you don't have any friends, then you must be lonely. And that made me so sad, and I had an idea. And that's why I went, <gasps> I should do a great, big, ginormous, super duper spectacular welcome party and invite everyone in Ponyville. See? And now you have lots and lots of friends. Are you all right, Sugar Cube? Aw, she's so happy she's crying! Hot sauce. Ooh. Whoa, that's good! Uh. Hey, Twilight! Pinkie Pie's starting through the tail in the pony! Wanna play? No! All the ponies in this town are crazy! Do you know what time it is? It's the eve of the summer sun celebration. Every pony has to stay up or they'll miss the princess raise the sun. You really should lighten up, Twilight. It's a party. <laughs> Here I thought I'd have time to learn more about the elements of harmony. But silly me, all this ridiculous friend making has kept me from it. Legend has it that on the longest day of the thousandth year, the stars will aid in her escape, and she will bring about everlasting night. I hope the princess was right. I hope it really is just an old pony tale. Come on, Twilight! It's time to watch the sunrise! Isn't this exciting? Are you excited? Because I'm excited. I've never been so excited! that I saw you walking into town and I went, <gasps> but I mean, really, who can top that? Phillies and gentle colts, as mayor of Ponyville, it is my great pleasure to announce the beginning of the summer sun celebration. <laughs> In just a few moments, our town will witness the magic of the sunrise and celebrate this, the longest day of the year. And now, it is my great honor to introduce to you the ruler of our land, the very pony who gives us the sun and the moon each and every day, the good, the wise, the bringer of harmony to all of Equestria. Ready? Princess Celestia! <laughs> This can't be good. Remain calm, every pony. There must be a reasonable explanation. Oh, oh, I love guessing games. Is she hiding? She's gone. Oh! Ooh, she's good. Ah! Oh! oh no! Nightmare Moon. Oh. 
my beloved subjects. It's been so long since I've seen your precious little sun-loving faces. What did you do with our princess? Oh, Nelly. <laughs> Why? Am I not royal enough for you? Don't you know who I am? Ooh, ooh, more guessing games. Um, Pokey Smokes. How about Queen Minnie? No, Black Snooty, Black Snooty. Right there, right there. Does my crown no longer count now that I have been imprisoned for a thousand years? Did you not recall the legend? Did you not see the signs? I did, and I know who you are. You're the Mare in the Moon, Nightmare Moon. <gasps> Well, well, well. Some pony who remembers me. Then you also know why I'm here. You're here to... to... <laughs> Remember this day, little ponies, for it was your last. From this moment forth, the night will last forever! <laughs> of harmony. See Mare in the Moon? But that's just an old pony's tale. She will bring about nighttime eternal. It's imperative that the princess is told right away. I knew she would want to take immediate action. My dear Twilight, there is more to a young pony's life than studying. Make some friends! <laughs> All the ponies in this town are crazy! I hope the princess was right. She's gone! Oh, no! Nightmare Moon! <laughs> my little pony, my little pony, ah, my little pony. I used to wonder what friendship could be. My little pony. Until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have my You are a baby dragon, after all. Elements, elements, elements. Ugh. How can I stop Nightmare Moon without the elements of harmony? And just what are the elements of harmony? And how did you know about Nightmare Moon, huh? Are you a spy? No! <sighs> Simmer down, Sally. She ain't no spy. But she sure knows what's going on, don't you, Twilight? I read all about the prediction of Nightmare Moon. Some mysterious objects called the Elements of Harmony are the only things that can stop her. But I don't know what they are, where to find them. I don't even know what they do. The Elements of Harmony, a reference guide. How did you find that? It was under E. Oh. There are six Elements of Harmony, but only five are known. Kindness, laughter, generosity, honesty, and loyalty. The sixth is a complete mystery. It is said the last known location of the five elements was in the ancient castle of the Royal Pony Sisters. It is located in what is now... <laughs> the Everfree Forest! Whee! Let's go! Not so fast. Look, I appreciate the offer but I'd really rather do this on my own. No can do, Sugar Cube. We sure ain't letting any friend of ours go into that creepy place alone. We're sticking to you like caramel on a candy apple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Especially if there's candy apples in there. What? Those things are good. <sighs> So, 
none of you have been in here before? Uh, heavens, no! Just look at it. It's dreadful! And it ain't natural. Folks say it don't work the same as Equestria. What's that supposed to mean? No, Pony knows. You know why? Rainbow, quit it! Cause every pony who's ever come in has never come out! Ah! Fluttershy, quit! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness! Ah! You'll be safe. That's not true! Now listen here. What I'm saying to you is the honest truth. Let go, and you'll be safe. Ah! Phew. Ah! Oh, sorry, girls. I'm not used to holding anything more than a bunny or two. And once Pinky and Rarity were safe, whoosh, me and Fluttershy looped a loop around and wham! Caught you right in the nick of time. Yes, Rainbow, I was there. And I'm very grateful. But we gotta... <gasps> a manticore! We've gotta get past him. <laughs> Take that, you ruffian! This might hurt for just a second. Fluttershy! <laughs> oh, you're just a little old baby kitty, aren't you? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. How did you know about the thorn? I didn't. Sometimes we all just need to be shown a little kindness. need a rest from all this icky muck. Well, I didn't mean that literally. That ancient ruin could be right in front of our faces and we wouldn't even know it. I didn't see you here. Yes, my apologies. Oh, right here. Oh, you're okay. oh, wait. I think I stepped in something. Ah! It's just mud. So, 
What a world! What a world! Excuse me, sir. Why are you crying? Well, I don't know. I was just sitting here, minding my own business, when this tacky little cloud of purple smoke just took whisk past me and tore half of my beloved mustache clean off. And now I look simply horrid. Oh, <sighs> oh give me a break. That's what all the fuss is about? Why, of course it is. How can you be so insensitive? Oh, just look at him. Such lovely luminescent scales. I know. And your expertly coiffed mane. Oh, I know, I know. Yes, your fabulous manicure. <gasps> it's so true. Oh, ruined without your beautiful moustache. It's true, I'm hideous. I simply cannot let such a crime against fabulosity go uncorrected. Ow! What did you do that for? Rarity, what are you... Mustache. <gasps> we can cross now. Let's go. Ah! Allow me. There it is. The ruin that holds the elements of harmony. We made it. Twilight, wait for us. We're almost there. <laughs> What's with you and falling off cliffs today? <gasps> now what? Duh. Oh, yeah. Rainbow. Who's there? Rainbow. I ain't scared of you. Show yourself. We've been eagerly awaiting the arrival of the best flyer in Equestria. Who? Why? You, of course. Really? I mean, oh yeah, me. Hey, uh, you wouldn't mind telling the Wonderbolts that, would ya? Because I've been trying to get into that group for, like, ever. No, Rainbow Dash. We want you to join us, the Shadow Bolts. We are the greatest aerial team in the Everfree Forest, and soon we will be the greatest in all Equestria. But first, we need a captain. The most magnificent. Yep. Swiftest. Yes. Bravest flyer in all the land. Yes, it's all true. We need you. Woohoo! Sign me up! Just let me tie this bridge real quick, and then we have a deal. No! It's them or us. Rainbow! What's taking so long? Oh no. Rainbow! Don't well, you. Thank you for the offer, I mean. But I'm afraid I have to say no. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Good Queen. job, Rainbow. See? I'd never leave my friends hanging. Twilight, isn't this what you've been waiting for? The elements of harmony. We found them. Careful, careful. One, two, three, four. There's only five. Where's the sixth? The book said, when the five are present, a spark will cause the sixth element to be revealed. What in the hay is that supposed to mean? I'm not sure, but I have an idea. Stand back. I don't know what will happen. Come on now, y'all. She needs to concentrate. Ah! 
Kidding, right? destroy the elements of harmony just like that? Well, you're wrong, because the spirits of the elements of harmony are right here! What? Applejack, who reassured me when I was in doubt, represents the spirit of honesty. Fluttershy, who tamed the manticore with her compassion, represents the spirit of kindness. Pinkie Pie, who banished fear by giggling in the face of danger, represents the spirit of laughter. Rarity, who calmed a sorrowful serpent with a meaningful gift, represents the spirit of generosity. And Rainbow Dash, who could not abandon her friends for her own heart's desire, represents the spirit of loyalty. The spirits of these five ponies got us through every challenge you threw at us. You still don't have the sixth element. The spark didn't work. But it did. A different kind of spark. I felt it the very moment I realized how happy I was to hear you, to see you, how much I cared about you. The spark ignited inside me when I realized that you all are my friends. <laughs> You see, Nightmare Moon, when those elements are ignited by the... the spark that resides in the heart of us all, it creates the sixth element, the element of... magic! Okay. Oh, thank goodness! Why, Rarity, it's so lovely. I know! I'll never part with it again! No, your necklace. It looks just like your cutie mark. Woof! Oh. So does yours! <gasps> Look at mine! Look at mine! Ah, uh, yeah! Gee, Twilight, I thought you were just spouting a lot of hooey. But I reckon we really do represent the elements of friendship. Indeed you do. <gasps> Princess Celestia! Twilight Sparkle, my faithful student. I knew you could do it. But... You told me it was all an old ponytail. I told you that you needed to make some friends, nothing more. I saw the signs of Nightmare Moon's return, 
and I knew it was you who had the magic inside to defeat her. But you could not unleash it until you let true friendship into your heart. Now if only another will as well. Princess Luna. <gasps> it has been a thousand years since I have seen you like this. Time to put our differences behind us. We were meant to rule together, little sister. Sister? Will you accept my friendship? Whoa! I'm so sorry. I missed you so much, big sister. <sighs> I've missed you too. Why so glum, my faithful student? Are you not happy that your quest is complete and you can return to your studies in Canterlot? That's just it. Just when I learn how wonderful it is to have friends, I have to leave them. Spike, take a note, please. I, Princess Celestia, hereby decree that the unicorn Twilight Sparkle shall take on a new mission for Equestria. She must continue to study the magic of friendship she must report to me her findings from her new home in Ponyville. Oh, oh, thank you, Princess Celestia. I'll study harder than ever before. Yeah! Isn't this exciting? Are you excited? Because I'm excited. I've never been so excited. Well, except for the time that went, <gasps> but I mean, really. No. Nope. Thank you kindly, Twilight, for helping me out. No. I bet Big Macintosh I could get all these golden delicious in the barn by lunchtime. If I will, he's gonna walk down Stirrup Street in one of Granny's girdles. <laughs> no problem at all, Applejack. But I'm glad the goal is lunchtime. All this hard work is making me hungry. I know, right? Please, oh, Spike, you've been lounging on my back all morning while we worked. Exactly. You two are taking so long, I miss snack time. Guess we better get some food. Nope. Worm. Aha! Oh, Spike, that looks delicious. Spike! What? <gasps> it's a letter from Princess Celestia. <clears throat> hear ye, hear ye. Her Grand Royal Highness, Princess Celestia of Equestria, is pleased to announce the Grand Galloping Gala to be held in the magnificent capital city of Canterlot on the 21st day of, uh, yada, 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 cordially extends an invitation to Twilight Sparkle plus one guest. The, the Grand, Grand Galloping, Galloping Gala! My little pony, my little pony, ah. Friendship could be my little pony. Until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure, tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness, it's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? The Grand Galloping Gala! <laughs> Look! Two tickets! Wow, great! I've never been to the gala. Have you, Spike? No, and I plan to keep it that way. I don't want any of that girly, frilly, frou-frou nonsense. Aw, oh, come on, Spike. A dance would be nice. Nice? It's a heap good more than just nice. I'd love to go. Land sakes! If I had an apple stand set up, Ponies would be chawing our taste of it'll till the cows came home. Do you have any idea how much business I could drum up for Sweet Apple Acres? Why, with all that money, we could do a heap of fixing up around here. We could replace that saggy old roof. And Big Macintosh could replace that saggy old plow. And Granny Smith could replace that saggy old hip. Why, I'd give
give my left hind leg to go to that gala. Oh, well, in that case, would you like to... <laughs> Are we talking about the Grand Galloping Gala? Rainbow Dash, you told me you were too busy to help me harvest apples. What were you busy doing? Spying? No, I was busy napping. And I just happened to hear that you have an extra ticket? Yeah, but... Yes! This is so awesome! The Wonderbolts perform at the Grand Galloping Gala every year. I can see it now. Everyone would be watching the sky. Their eyes riveted on the Wonderbolts. But then, in would fly... Rainbow Dash! <gasps> I would draw their attention with my super speed strut. Then I would mesmerize them with my fantastic Billy Flash. And for my grand finale, the Buccaneer Blaze. The ponies would go wild. The Wonderbolts would insist that my signature moves be incorporated into their routine. And then welcome me as their newest member. Don't you see, Twilight? This could be my one chance to show them my stuff. You've got to take me. Uh, hold on, just one pony picking minute here. I asked for that ticket first. So? That doesn't mean you own it. Oh, yeah? Well, I challenge you to a hoof wrestle. Winner gets the ticket. Uh, <laughs> girls! These are my tickets. I'll decide who gets it, thank you very much. Whoever has the best reason to go should get the ticket, don't you think? Drumming up business for the farm? A chance to audition for the Wonder Bolts? Money to fix Granny's hip. Living the dream! Oh my, those were all pretty good reasons, aren't they? <laughs> Listen to that. I am starving. I don't know about you, but I can't make important decisions on an empty stomach. So, I. Uh, think about it over lunch and get back to you two, okay? Okay. So who are you gonna give the ticket to, Twilight? I don't know, Spike, but I really can't think straight when I'm hungry. So where should we eat? had the opportunity to attend. Oh, the society, the culture, the glamour. It's where I truly belong. <laughs> and where I'm destined to meet him. Him! Who? Him. I would stroll through the gala, and everyone would wonder, who is that mysterious man? They would never guess that I was just a simple pony from little old Ponyville. Why, I would cause such a sensation that I would be invited for an audience with Princess Celestia herself. And the princess would be so taken with the style and elegance that she would introduce me to him. Her nephew, the most handsome, eligible unicorn stallion in Canterlot. 
Our eyes would meet, our hearts would melt, our courtship would be magnificent. He would ask for my hope in marriage, and of course I would say, yes! We would have a royal wedding befitting a princess, which is <laughs> what I would become upon marrying him, the stallion of my dreams. Twilight, I simply cannot believe you would invite Pinkie Pie so she can party and prevent me from meeting my true love. How could you? <laughs> hey! <gasps> Angel, these are perfect. Uh, listen, guys. I haven't decided who to give the extra ticket to. You haven't? Um, excuse me, Twilight. I would just like to ask, I mean, if it would be all right, if you haven't given it to someone else. You? You want to go to the gala? Oh, no. I mean, yes, or actually, kind of. You see... It's not so much the Grand Galloping Gala as it is the wondrous private gated garden that surrounds the dance. The flowers are said to be the most beautiful and fragrant in all of Equestria. For the night of the gala, and that night alone will they all be in bloom. And that's just the flora. Don't get me started on the fauna. There's loons and toucans and bitterns, oh my! Hummingbirds that can really hum, and buzzards that can really buzz. When blue jays and red jays and green jays, pink jays and pink flamingos. Gee, Fluttershy, it sounds beautiful. Wait just a minute. Rainbow Dash, were you following me? No, I mean yes, I mean maybe. Look, it doesn't matter. I couldn't risk a goodie four shoes like you giving that ticket away to just anybody. Wait just another minute. Applejack, were you following me too? No, I was following this one to make sure she didn't try any funny business. Still trying to take my ticket. Your ticket? But Twilight's taking me! Oh, 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 and then I said, Oatmeal, are you crazy? Oh. Girls, there's no use in arguing. But Twilight! Uh, this is my decision, and I'm gonna make it on my own. And I certainly can't think straight with all this noise. Not to mention hunger. Now go on, shoot! Uh, okay. <laughs> And don't worry, I'll figure this out. Somehow. Ah, uh, Spike, what am I gonna do? All five of my best friends have really good reasons to go to the gala. Applejack or Rainbow Dash? Pinkie Pie or Fluttershy? Rarity? Oh, who should go with me? Have you made your decision? I can't decide! Twilight? He just wants to take your order. Oh, I would love a daffodil and daisy sandwich. Do you have any rubies? No? Okay, I'll have the hay fries. Extra crispy. What do you think, Spike? I think we have to try another restaurant. I mean, I like grass just fine, but would it hurt anybody to offer some gemstones? I mean about the gala and the ticket and who I should take. Oh. You're still on that? Spike, listen! How do I choose? And when I do choose, will the other four be mad at me? I mean, I could give up my ticket and give away two, but that would still leave three disappointed homies. What if I... Ah, your food. Oh, thank you. This looks so good. I'm sure everything will be much clearer once I eat. Um, madame? Are you going to eat your food in the rain? It's not raining. What's going on? Hi there, best friend forever I've ever, ever had. Enjoying the sunny weather? Rainbow Dash, what are you doing? What do you mean? I just saw the smartest, most generous pony about to get rained on, so I thought I'd kick a hole in the clouds to keep her dry so she could dine and feast. That's all. Rainbow, you're not trying to get extra consideration for the extra ticket by doing the extra special favors, are you? Me? No, 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 of course not. Uh-huh. Seriously, I do it for any phone. <laughs> uh, 
Rainbow, I am not comfortable accepting unwanted favors, so I'd appreciate it if you'd close up that rain cloud right now. Ugh, fine. That's better. Twilight, it's raining. No, really? Come with me before you catch a cold. Oops, sorry. Oh no, it's quite all right. After all, we are the best of friends, are we not? And you know what the best of friends do? Uh. Makeover! <laughs> Rarity! Ow! This really is a mistake. I mean, thank you, but. Oh, that's too tight! There! Oh, you're simply darling! Uh, yeah, it is kind of pretty, isn't it? And you! Oh, Spike, I have a dandy little outfit for the dashing gent. Ah! Oh, okay! What is wrong? <laughs> oh, Spike, now you just need a hat. Ugh! I told you, I don't want any part of this girly galagunk. See you back at the library. <laughs> oh, who needs him anyway? This is all about you and how fabulous you'll look at the Grand Galloping Gala. Wait, the Grand... Oh! And oh my goodness, what a coincidence. I happen to have an ensemble of my own that matches yours to a T. We would be the bells of the ball, you and I. Everyone would be clamoring for our attention. All eyes would be on us. And then everyone would finally know the most beautiful, most talented, most sophisticated pony in all of Equestria is Rarity the Unicorn. <laughs> and Twilight Sparkle, of course. <laughs> I see what's going on. You're just buttering me up so I give you the extra ticket. Well, it's not gonna work. You're going to have to wait for my decision just like everyone else. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've been trying all day just to get some lunch. Did some pony say lunch? You've got to be kidding me. I got apple pie, apple fritters, apple tarts, apple dumplings, apple crisp, apple crumblers, and apple brown bag. Uh, the dessert, not my Annie. What do you say there, best friend? Is that a yes? No, no! I don't know who I'm giving the ticket to, and all these favors aren't making it any easier to decide. In fact, I'm less sure now than I was this morning! Ah! So, that's a maybe? Ugh, I never thought being showered with favors would be so aggravating. Shy, not you too. Oh, well, hello, Twilight. I hope you don't mind, but we're all doing a little spring cleaning for you. It's summer. Oh, well, better late than never, right? It was Angel's idea. You're not doing this for the ticket, are you? Oh, no. I'm doing this because you're my very best friend. Right, Angel? Oh, yes. We are just doing this for the ticket. No, no, no! Well, this is all very nice of you and Angel, but I am not accepting any extra favors until I've made my final decision. So I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Surprise! Twilight is my bestest friend, Luffy. Luffy, Pinky. she's the cutest, smartest, all-around best pony. Pony, Pinky. I bet if I throw a super duper fun party, party, Pinky. she'll give her extra ticket to the gala to me. Yes, Twilight? At least the other ponies tried to be subtle about the ticket. Wait, what ticket? What gala? Oh, you didn't know? Twilight has an extra ticket to the Grand Galloping Gala! The Grand Galloping Gala! I ever told you how much I love your name? I've washed your dishes. Would you like any help with your gardening? I have a cartload of extra carrots. I'll paint your car. I love to paint your cars. What are we gonna do? We're gonna...
did she go? She disappeared. Uh, warn me next time you're gonna do that. I didn't even know it was gonna happen. Now quick, lock the doors. to all of you and I just can't stand to disappoint any of you and giving me gifts and doing me favors won't make any difference because you're all my friends and I want to make you all happy and I can't. I just can't. Twilight Sugar, I, I didn't mean to put so much pressure on you. And if it helps, I don't want the ticket anymore. You can give it to some pony else. I won't feel bad, I promise. Me too. I feel just awful that I made you feel so awful. And me too. It's no fun upsetting your friends. Twilight, it was unfair of me to try to force you as I did. Yes! That means the ticket is mine! <laughs> I got the ticket! I got the ticket! You know, I haven't perfected my signature moves for the Wonder Bolts anyway. I don't need that ticket either. We all got so gung-ho about going to the gala that we couldn't see how ungung-ho we were making you. We're, we're sorry, sorry, Twilight. Twilight. Spike? Take down a note. Dear Princess Celestia, I've learned that one of the joys of friendship is sharing your blessings. But when there's not enough blessings to go around, having more than your friends can make you feel pretty awful. So, though I appreciate the invitation, I will be returning both tickets to the Grand Galloping Gala. What? If my friends can't all go, I don't want to go either. Twilight, you don't have to do that. Nope, I've made up my mind. Spike, you can send the letter now. Now you won't get to go to the gala either. It's okay, girls. I couldn't possibly enjoy myself without my best friends there with me. <laughs> so I would rather not go at all. <laughs> well, wallop my wither, Spike. Isn't that just like a boy? Can't handle the least bit of sentiment. Whoa, Nelly! A letter from the princess? That was fast. My faithful student, Twilight. Why didn't you just say so in the first place? Six tickets to the Grand Galloping Gala! Oh! Now we can all go! Yeah! 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 <laughs> Allow us to treat you to dinner. What a great way to apologize! And to celebrate! Come on, everyone! The cupcakes are on me! How come I don't get a ticket to the gala? And one for you, Spike. <laughs> I mean, gross! I have to go, too? <laughs> Boy, howdy. I got my work cut out for me. That there is the biggest bumper crop of apples I ever laid eyes on. E. Yep. Too big for you to handle on your own. Come on, big brother. You'll need to rest up and get yourself better. I haven't met an apple orchard yet that I can't handle. Oops. Sorry. I'll take a bite out of this job by day's end. Biting off more than you can chew is just what I'm afraid of. Are you saying my mouth is making promises my legs can't keep? Yep. Why, of all the... This is your sister Applejack, remember? The loyalist of friends and the most dependable of ponies? But still only one pony. And one pony plus hundreds of apple trees just doesn't add up to... Don't you use your fancy mathematics to muddy the issue. I said I could handle this harvest and I'm gonna prove it to you. I'm gonna get every last apple out of those trees this apple buck season all by myself. Ooh. My little pony, my little pony, ah, my little pony. I used to wonder what friendship could be. My little pony. Until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have my
Well, I better get kicking. These apples aren't gonna shake themselves out of the trees. Hey! Oh, no! Pardon, Applejack, but Muriela here saw one of those nasty snakes. <laughs> and it just gave us all the willies, don't you know? I completely understand. Just next time, try and steer clear of Ponyville. We certainly will, Applejack. So long, Winona. <laughs> <laughs> Applejack was just, just... Apple-tastic! Exactly! We must do something to thank Applejack for single-hoofedly saving the town. I know! A party! We all ready? Just one last thing! Now we're ready! Is Applejack all set? Actually, I haven't seen her all week. Not since the stampede. But she'll be here for sure. Applejack is never late. Welcome, every pony. Today we are here to honor a pony we can always count on to help in matters great and small. A pony whose contributions to... Did you see Applejack's slick moves out there? What an athlete! This week, she's gonna help me with my new flying trick. And I know it's gonna be so awesome! Exactly! And this week, I get to run Sugar Cube Corner for the first time! What does that have to do with Applejack? Oh! Applejack, one of the best bakers ever, is gonna help me! Applejack makes everything great, so free samples for every pony! Okay, that's great. Now, if I could just make a point without being under... Twilight? Corrupted. Twilight, I'm so sorry, but I just wanted to mention that Applejack is also helping me this week with the official bunny census, where we count up all the new baby bunnies that were born this season. She's gonna help gather them using her wonderful herding skills. Anyone else? Anyone? <laughs> no? Well then, as I was trying to say... Ugh, never mind. <clears throat> and so, with no further ado, it is my privilege to give the prize Pony of Ponyville Award to our beloved guest of honor, a pony of the utmost trustworthiness, reliability, and integrity, Ponyville's most capable and dependable friend, Applejack! <laughs> Awesome, woman! <laughs> <clears throat> Awkward. I'm here! I'm here! <laughs> <sighs> 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 Sorry I'm late. Well, 
I was just... Did I get your tail? Miss Mayor, thank you kindly for this here award thingy. It's so bright and shiny and... <laughs> I sure do look funny. Okay. Well, thank you, Applejack, for saving us from that scary stampede and always being there for every pony. <sighs> yeah, I like helping the pony folks and, and stuff. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, uh, thanks. Was it just me, or did Applejack seem a little... Tired? Dizzy? Messy? Well, did you see her mane? She seemed fine to me. Woo! Woo! Hmm. <laughs> 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 What on earth is that pony doing? Whoops. Hey, Applejack! Applejack! <laughs> Applejack! <laughs> Applejack! <laughs> oh. Howdy, Twilight. What is all this? It's apple buck season. Whoa! Apple what season? Yeah. It's what the apple family calls harvest in time. We gather all the apples from the trees so we can sell them. But why are you doing it all alone? Because Big Macintosh hurt himself. What about all those relatives I met when I first came to Ponyville? Can't they help? Yeah, they were just here for the apple family reunion. They actually live all over Equestria and are busy harvesting their own orchards. So, uh, how about my own? Which means I should really get back to work. Am hint hint, get back to work. Fine. Uh, could you step aside, Twilight? I just did. Applejack, Applejack you don't look so good. Okay. Yeah, don't, don't none of you three worry none. I'm just fine and dandy. Whoa. Do you want some help? Help? No way. No how. But there's no way you can do it all on your own. Is that a challenge? Um, no. Well, I'm gonna prove to you that I can do it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got apples to book. There you are. <sighs> oh, I'm a mad sorry, Rainbow. I was busy apple bucking, and I guess I, I closed my eyes for a second, and when I woke up, I was late. Now, what's this new trick of yours? See this contraption? Uh, yeah. Well, I'm gonna stand on one end, then you're gonna jump down from that platform, launching me into the air faster than I can take off on my own. Once I'm in the air, I'm gonna do some amazing flips and spins that are sure to impress the Wonder Bulls. Isn't that a mite dangerous? <laughs> Not for a pony who can fly. Well, all righty then. Ready? One, two, three! <gasps> uh, maybe I wasn't clear. You're supposed to land on the other end. Got it. <laughs> Applejack, what the hay is going on? I mean, I thought I was working with Ponyville's best athlete. You are. I'm okay, really. I, I have an idea. Watch this. Uh, ta -da! Oh, maybe not. Okay, one more try. I'm sure to get it this time. <laughs> Here I go. Can I 
help you? I think some pony elves need your help, Applejack. Yep. Applejack, can we talk? Can be, Squawk? I don't think so. No, can we talk? 20 stocks? Bean or celery? No, I need to talk to you. You need to walk to the zoo? Well, who's stopping you? I need to talk to you. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? What you want to talk about? Rainbow Dash dropped in to see me today. That's quite neighborly of her. Yes, except that she crashed onto my balcony after you launched her into the air. Oh, yeah. I wasn't feeling quite myself this morning. Because you're working too hard and you need help. What? Kelp? I don't need kelp. I don't even like seaweed. Help! You need help! Nothing doing, Twilight. I'm gonna prove to you to every pony that I can do this on my own. Ow! Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go help Pinkie Pie. <sighs> now, Pinkie Pie, are you sure you're up for baking the muffins and running the store this afternoon? Yes, sirree, Bob, Mrs. Cake. Plus, I have Pony Bill's Pride Pony to help me out. Why, she's the best baker ever. Right, Applejack? <laughs> No, you're not the best baker ever. What? Oh, no! I mean, don't you fret. I can bake anything from fritters to pies in the blink of an eye. Oh, all right. Well, see you later, girls. Stop with the shaking. It's time to get bacon. All righty. I'll get the sugar and the eggs. Can you get me some chocolate chips? Eh. Uh. Uh, what was that? Chocolate chips. Chips. Got it. Hater chips. A little salty and dry. Okie dokie. What next? Baking soda. Soda. Perfect. That'll get the tater chips nice and wet. Now what? A cup of flour. A cup of sour? Well, lemons are sure sour. One cup of sour coming up. Anything else, Pinky? One last thing. Wheat germ. Ugh, wheat worms? Oh, that must be fancy talk for earthworms. Now that's gonna be delicious. If you say so. Free muffin sample spectacular! Get them while they're hot! We came as soon as we heard. Thank you, Twilight. We need all the help we can get. Oh, no. What happened? It was a mishap with some of the baked goods. No. Not baked goods. Baked bad. Oh. Applejack. Oh. Want one? Applejack, we need to talk. What? Huh? Oh, it's you, Twilight. I know what you're gonna say, but the answer is still no. Not to upset your apple cart, but you need help. Hardy, har. And no, I don't. Uh, here, let me help. Help? No, thanks. <sighs> A little more. A little. There. I'll prove that this apple can handle these apples. Come on. Apples. Fall off. AJ, I think you're beating a dead tree. I knew that. Actually, Applejack, I had something else to talk to you about. I just came back from Ponyville Urgent Care and... You know, I'm a little busy to get lectured right now, Twilight. But if you'd just let me help... Ugh. No, no, no! How many times do I gotta say it? I don't need no help from no pony! 
Ugh, that pony is stubborn as a mule. No offense. None taken. Oh, Applejack, thank you so much for offering your herding skills for the annual rabbit roundup. Ugh, why are we doing this? Well, lots of new baby bunnies have been born, so it's my job to get a count of all the new families. Fine. Can we just get on with it? Certainly. But remember, these are bunnies we're dealing with, not cows. They're a timid bunch and need to be treated gently. I do not need any direction on coral and critters. Right, Winona? <laughs> okay, you little bunnies. I need you to all gather here in the middle. That's right. Let's go, bunnies. In the center. Hop to it. Swell. Just swell. Put them up, Winona! <laughs> Applejack, Winona, stop! You're scaring them. We know what we're doing. Get along, little bunnies. <laughs> Right, Applejack. Your apple bucking hasn't just caused you problems. It's overpropelled Pegasus, practically poisoned plenty of ponies, and terrorized bushels of brand new bouncing baby bunnies. I don't care what you say, you need help. <laughs> ha! No, I don't. Look, I did it. I harvested the entire sweet apple acres without your help. <sighs> How'd you like them apples? Oh, how do you like them apples? Applejack! Huh? Oh, good. You're okay. Now, Applejack, I completely respect the Apple family ways. You're always there to help any pony in need. So maybe you can put a little of your stubborn pride aside and allow your friends to help you. Okay, Twilight. I am not taking no for an answer. What? Yes, Twilight. Yes, please. I could really use your help. <laughs> Dear Princess Celestia, my friend Applejack is the best friend a pony could ever have, and she's always there to help any pony. The only trouble is, when she needs help, she finds it hard to accept it. So while friendship is about giving of ourselves to friends, it's also about accepting what our friends have to offer. Your faithful student, Twilight Sparkle. How about y'all take a little break? I got some fine apple juice waiting for you. <sighs> Girls, I can't thank you enough for this help. I was acting a bit stubborn. A bit? Okay, a mite stubborn. And I'm awful sorry. Now, I know the town gave me the prize pony award, but the real award is having you five as my friends. Phew! That apple bucking sure made me hungry, and I've got the perfect treat. Ew! Spike, I threw those away! Where'd you get them? From the trash. Ew! <laughs> Just a little nibble? Come on! Hook fighting action overload! She was like a stunned superstar, flying higher and higher, and then Rainbow Dash swooped down, swoosh! And right before she hit the ground, shoom, she pulled up! Uh-huh. And then she looped around and around like woo, 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 woo. Uh-huh. Phew. Rainbow Dash! Uh, pink 
Pinkie Pie, not again. Rainbow Dash! Not now, Pinkie Pie. The, the Rainbow Dash! I'm in the middle of something. But I said not now! I was gonna tell you to look out for that mountain. My little pony, my little pony. It could be my little pony. Until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure, tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness, it's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have my Do you know you are my very best friends? Hi! I'm looking for Rainbow Dash. Have you seen her? Hi there! Have you seen Rainbow Dash? Okay, thanks anyway. Twilight! Have you seen Rainbow Dash anywhere? Isn't she right up there? Rainbow Dash! <laughs> Was close. Hi! On me. <laughs> oh no, you're not hurt, are you? Nah, eh. Don't be silly. Dragons are <laughs> fireproof. Oh, okay, good. We <laughs> wish the same thing. We're two of scrolls. can think of one thing. <laughs> I didn't take you for a prankster, Pinkie Pie. Are you kidding? I love to pull pranks. It's all good and good fun. And Pinkie Pie loves, loves to have fun. You know, Pinkie Pie, you're not as annoying as I thought. You want to hang out? That'd be... A simple nod will do. Mm-hmm. Is she even home? I don't know. This is gonna be cold. <laughs> there she is.
Gonna be. Oh, <laughs> I've got someone in mind. <laughs> the tough is around. Oh, awesome. Who, who? Do I know them? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> You're very close. <laughs> Good one, Pinkie Pie. recited every morning. I'll never get that lame thing out of my head. So... Ugh. Only for you, Dash. Junior, Junior speedsters, speedsters are our lives. Sky bound swords and daring dives. Junior, Junior speedsters, it's, it's our quest, quest to someday be the very best. best. I groove on a good prank as much as the next Griffin. But Dash, you promised me we'd get a flying session in this morning. Yeah, uh, well, Pinkie Pie, you don't mind, do you? Gilda just got here. We'll catch up with you later. Oh, um, well, sure, no problem. Have fun, you guys. I'll, uh, just catch up with you. <sighs> later. <laughs> times. Yeah, only faster. So now what? Hey there! Huh? huh? It's later! And I caught up! <laughs> Pinkie Pie, you are so random. Hey Dash, think you got enough gas left to beat me to that cloud? A race? You are so on! One, two, three, go! One dude? No way! Yes way! Oh, come on! I was way ahead of you! Uh, I don't think so. Oh, gee, dream Never on! Back in hand. There is I... no way you beat me! <laughs> Whatever. Wow, well, guys! That was really close! But I think Rainbow Dash beat you by a teeny weeny itty bitty hair. Or a teeny weeny itty bitty feather. Ha! <laughs> See? Good thing Pinkie Pie's here to keep you honest, G. Okay, Dash. Last one to that cloud up there is a gnarly dragon egg. Go! I think the high altitude is making you dizzy. Wait, guys! <laughs> wow, you guys almost got away from me that time. So, Dash, got any new moves in your trictionary? Or are you 100% old school? New moves? <laughs> Sit back, G. This is gonna take a while. Hey, Pinky, come here. Yeah? 
Don't you know how to take get lost for an answer? Dash doesn't need to hang with a dweeb like you now that I'm around. You're darking up the sky, stinky pie. So make like a bee. Buzz off! <laughs> Try matching that! Hey, where's Pinkie Pie in her crazy contraption? Eh, uh, she left. Something about being as busy as a bee. Hmm. So, Pinkie Pie, are you sure that this friend of Rainbow Dash is really so mean? Um, yeah! She keeps stealing Rainbow Dash away, she popped my balloons, and she told me to buzz off! I've never met a Griffin this mean. Well, actually, I've never met a Griffin at all. But I bet if I had, she wouldn't have been as mean and grumpy as Gilda. You know what I think, Pinkie Pie? Hmm? Well, I think you're jealous. Jealous? Green with envy. Well, in your case, pink with envy. Well, yes, jealous. Listen, Pinkie, I don't want to upset you, but just because Rainbow Dash has another friend doesn't make Gilda a grump. I mean, perhaps it's you, Pinkie, who needs to improve her attitude. Improve my attitude? Twilight is right. Maybe Gilda isn't a big, mean, grumpy, mean, meanie pants. Maybe I'm just a big, jealous, judgmental, jealous, jealousy pants. Hmm. <laughs> that was sweet. Ugh. I gotta take care of a few weather jobs around here. Shouldn't take long. Just uh, hang out in town and I'll come find you. That's cool, I guess. I'm gonna go chow down. Later! Ah! A rattler! A rattler! Run for the hills! Everybody run! Save yourselves! This stuff ain't fresh, dude. Aw, poor Granny Smith! She didn't know it was a joke! How mean! No, no, I can't misjudge her. It was kind of a funny prank, I guess. <gasps> I did misjudge her! She's not only a meanie me pants, she's also a thief! No, 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 no. She might give it back. It's just a joke. All right, little ones. This way, this way. Mama Duck, you're free and clear. Hey! Oh, please excuse me. I'm walking here! Oh, um, I'm sorry. I, I, I was just trying I'm to... I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Why don't you just watch where you're going, doofus? But, 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 I, I... <laughs> Ugh, please. All these lame ponies are driving me buggy. I gotta bail. She's a grump and a thief and a bully. The meanest kind of mean meanie pants there is. I can take it, but no one treats Fluttershy like that. No one. This calls for extreme measures, Pinkie Pie style! Welcome! 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 Who's this Gilda I've heard nothing about? I hear she's an old friend of Rainbow Dash, a griffin, so rare. You've met Gilda, right? What's she like? Oh, um, well, I'll tell you later, Twilight. Welcome! Welcome! Um, Pinkie Pie, about this party for Gilda, um, do you really think it's a good idea? I mean... Don't worry your pretty little head about mean old Gilda. Your Auntie Pinkie Pie's got it all taken care of. I'm a year older than you. Gilda! I'm so honored to throw you one of my signature Pinkie Pie parties. And I really, truly, sincerely hope you feel welcome here amongst all us pony folk. <laughs> Old hoop shake buzzer. <laughs> you are a scream. <laughs> yeah, uh, good one, Pinkie Pie. Come on, G. I'll introduce you to some of my other friends. Right behind you, Dash. I know what you're up to. Great. I know what you're planning. <laughs> well, I hope so. This wasn't supposed to be a surprise party. I mean, I've got my eye on you. And I got my eye on you. Everyone, I'd like you all to meet Gilda, a 
a longtime dear friend of Rainbow Dash. Let's honor her and welcome her to Ponyville. Yay, Rainbow Dash! Please help yourself. Vanilla lemon drops. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Punch! <laughs> huh? Well, what do you know? Pepper and the vanilla lemon drops and the punch served in a dribble glass. <laughs> Priceless. Priceless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hilarious. Hey, G, look! Presents! <laughs> Spitting snakes. <laughs> Some pony pulled that prank on me last month. Ha ha. I bet I know who that was. You do? Take time, every pony! Hey, can I blow out the candles? Why don't we let Gilda blow out the candle, Spike? She is the guest of honor, after all. <laughs> exactly! <gasps> <sighs> <laughs> Relighting birthday candles, I love that prank. What a classic. Now I wonder who could have done that. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah. Mm. Who cares? This cake is amazing. Spike? What? It's great. Try some. Hey, G, you're not upset about some silly candles, are you? No way, Dash. Like I said, I'm down with a good prank. Come on, then. Let's have some cake. <laughs> hey, I'm watching you like a hawk. Why? Can't you watch me like a griffin? Hey, y'all. It's pin the tail on the pony. Let's play. Oh, my favorite game. Can I go first? Can I have the purple tail? Well, I am the guest of honor, and I'll have the purple tail. Yeah, Gilda should definitely go first. Let's get you blindfolded. Hey, what are you doing? We're spinning you around and around, and then you can pin the tail on the pony. Now just walk straight ahead and pin the tail. Now just walk straight ahead and pin the tail. <laughs> yeah, right. This is another prank, isn't it? I'm going this way. Wait, the poster is this <laughs> Gilda, you pinned the tail on the wrong end. <laughs> <laughs> this is your idea of a good time? I've never met a lamer bunch of dweebs in all my life. And Pinkie Pie, you! You are Queen Lamo with your weak little party pranks. Did you really think you could make me lose my cool? Well, Dash and I have ten times as much cool as the rest of you put together. Come on, Dash, we're bailing on this. Come on, Rainbow Dash. I said we're leaving. You know, Gilda, I was the one who set up all those weak pranks at this party. What? Ooh. So I guess I'm Queen Lamo. Come on, Dash. You're joshing me. They weren't all meant for you specifically. It was just dumb luck that you set them all off. I should have known. That dribble cup had Rainbow Dash written all over it. No way. It was Pinkie Pie. She set up this party to trip me up, to make a fool of me. Me? I threw this party to improve your attitude. I thought a good party might turn that frown upside down. And you sure didn't need any help making a fool of yourself. You know, this is not how I thought my old friends would treat my new friends. If being cool is all you care about, maybe you should go find some new cool friends someplace else. Mm. Yeah, well, you... You, you are such a, a flip-flop. Cool one minute and lame the next. When you decide not to be lame anymore, give me a call. Not cool. Wow, talk about a party pooper. Wow, wow. what was that about? What, yeah, that was what, what just really happened? Awkward. I'm sorry, every pony, for bringing Gilda here. I didn't know how rude she was. And Pinkie Pie, I'm really sorry she ruined that awesome party you put on for her. Hey, if you want to hang out with party poopers, that's your business. I'd rather hang out with you. No hard feelings? No hard feelings. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> hey, Pinky. Sorry I accused you of misjudging Gilda. Looks like I'm the one who misjudged you. It's okay, Twilight. Even you can't be a super smart smarty smart pants all the time. Come on, everypony! There's still a whole lot of party to finish! <laughs> Dearest Princess Celestia, Today I learned that it's hard to accept when some pony you like wants to spend time with some pony who's not so nice. Though it's impossible to control who your friends hang out with, it is possible to control your own behavior. Just continue to be a good friend. In the end, the difference between a false friend and one who is true will surely come to light. Your faithful student, Twilight Sparkle. Dear Twilight Sparkle, my most faithful student. Oh! Wrong ink. <laughs> Come on, Twilight. You can do it. Okay, here goes. Ha-ha! <laughs> you did it! Growing magic. That's number 25. 25 different types of tricks and counting. And I think this is the best trick so far. Hello, Rarity. What's that? Oh, it's nothing. Just my awesome mustache. <laughs> Sorry, Romeo. As attractive and enticing as you look, it's just for practice and it's gotta go. Wait! <sighs> oh, rats. <laughs> my little pony, my little pony. Ah, my little pony. I used to wonder what friendship could be. So you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? 25, Twilight. 25 different kinds of tricks and counting. I thought unicorns were only supposed to have a little magic that matches their special talents. True, for ponies whose talents are for things like cooking or singing or math. But what if a unicorn's special talent is magic? Like you, Twilight, and you know a ton of magic. Oh, Spike, stop. I'm sure there are lots of ponies right here in Ponyville that know just as much magic as me. Are you kidding? I don't think there's another unicorn in all of Equestria with your kind of ability, Twilight. Yay, way! Coming through! Ah! Snails! What's going on? Well, haven't you heard? Oh. There is a new unicorn in town! Yeah! They say that she's got more magical powers than any other unicorn ever! Really? Oh, no way! That honor goes to Twilight here. Where is this unicorn? Oh, she's in a town square! Come on! Yeah! <laughs> Come on! Come on! Come on! And witness the amazing magic of the great and powerful Trixie! Watch in awe as the great and powerful Trixie performs the most spectacular feats of magic ever witnessed by Pony Eyes! My, my, my. What boasting? Come on. No pony's as magical as Twi. 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 Oh. Uh, <clears throat> hey, Rarity. I, uh. Mustache! There's nothing wrong with being talented, is there? Nothing at all. Sitting when someone goes around showing it off like a school filly with fancy new ribbons. Just because one has the ability to perform lots of magic does not make one better than the rest of us. Especially when you got me around being better than the rest of us. <laughs> uh, I mean. Yeah, uh, magic's magic. Boo! Well, well, well. It seems we have some naysayers in the audience. Who is so ignorant as to challenge the magical ability of the great and powerful Trixie? Do they not know that they're in the presence of the most magical unicorn in all of Equestria? Just who does she think she is? Yeah, since we all know that Twilight here is... Spike, shh! What? What's wrong? You see the way they reacted to Trixie? I don't want anyone thinking I'm a show-off. So great and powerful, Trixie. What makes you think you're so awesome anyway? 
<laughs> Why, only the great and powerful Trixie has magic strong enough to vanquish the dreaded Ursa Major! What? No way! When all hope was lost, the ponies of Huffington had no one to turn to, but the great and powerful Trixie stepped in and with her awesome magic vanquished the Ursa Major and sent it back to its cave deep within the ever-free forest. So oh, sweet. sweet! That settles it. Trixie truly is the most talented, most magical, most awesome unicorn in Ponyville. No, in all of Equestria. How do you know? You didn't see it. And besides, twenty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's true, my enthusiastic little admirers. Trixie is most certainly the best in Ponyville. Don't believe the great and powerful Trixie? <laughs> well then, I hereby challenge you, Pony Villians. Anything you can do, I can do better. Any takers? Anyone? <laughs> or is Trixie destined to be the greatest equine who has ever lived? <laughs> Please! She's unbearable! You gotta show her! You just gotta! <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna use my magic now, Spike. Especially since... Hmm. How about... You! <laughs> well, how about it? Hmm? Is there anything you can do that the great and powerful Trixie can't? I... I... Well, little hayseed... That's it! I can't stand for no more of this. You show her, AJ. Can your magical powers do this? Top that, Missy. Oh, ye of little talent. Watch and be amazed at the magic of Trixie. Like that. Oh, that's my job. The only thing they'll call you is loser. I think I'm gonna be sick. Seems like any pony with a dash of good sense would think twice before tussling with the great Trixie. <laughs> What we need is another unicorn to challenge her. Someone with some magic of her own. Yeah, a unicorn to show this unicorn who's boss. A real unicorn to unicorn tussle. Uh... Enough, enough all of you. I take your hint, but Rarity is above such nonsense. Rainbow Dash and Applejack may behave like ruffians, but Rarity conducts herself with beauty and grace. Ooh, what's the matter? Afraid you'll get a hair out of place in that rat's nest you call a mane? Oh, it is on. You may think you're tough with all of your so-called powers, but there is more to magic than your brutish ways. A unicorn needs to be more than just muscle. A unicorn needs to have style. A unicorn's not a unicorn without grace and beauty. Rarity won't let Trixie get the best of her. She's strong, she's beautiful, she's... <laughs> Green. What? <gasps> no! Green hair! Not green hair! <gasps> Such an awful, awful color! <sighs> well, I never. Well, Twilight, I guess it's
it's up to you. Come on, show her what you're made of. What do you mean? I'm nothing special. Yes, you are. You're better than her. I'm not better than anyone. <laughs> you think you're better than the great and powerful Trixie? You think you have more magical talent? Well, come on, show Trixie what you've got. Show us all. Who, me? I'm just your run-of-the-mill citizen of Ponyville. No powerful magic here. I, uh, I think I hear my laundry calling. Sorry, gotta go. Twilight? <laughs> Once again, the great and powerful Trixie has proven herself to be the most amazing unicorn in all of Equestria. <sighs> Was there ever any doubt? <laughs> This is the old smoothie last for with extra hay, just how you like it. Mm. Yes. Oh, tell us another story, great and powerful Trixie. Yeah, tell us about how you vanquished the Ursa Major. Uh, Trixie is far too exhausted from performing feats beyond imagination. Be gone with you until morning. Oh, of course, great and powerful Trixie. Anything you say, we are at your beck and call. <sighs> what are you two doing? Just bringing the G and PT. Uh, the what? The great and powerful Trixie. Sheesh. Just bringing her a smoothie. How can you fall for her lameness? She's just a show off. Unlike Twilight, who... The great and powerful Trixie vanquished an Ursa Major. Can your Twilight claim that? Oh, really? Were you guys actually there? Well, uh, uh, no, but... But nothing. The proof is in the pudding. <laughs> I like pudding. Look, unless an Ursa Major comes waltzing up the street for Trixie to vanquish, I am not going to believe a word she says. And neither should you. An Ursa walking up the street, hey? Snails, you thinking what I'm thinking? Why is it they call it a flea market when they don't really sell fleas? Yeah! Uh, oh, come on! Twilight, won't you put down that book and just listen to me? Didn't you see how they hated Trixie's bragging spike? If I go out there and show off my magic, I run the risk of losing them as friends. It's not the same thing, Twilight. You'd be using your magic to stand up for your friends. No, Spike, it's exactly the same. Come on, Twilight. Any one of these tricks, even the teeniest, would be enough to show up Trixie. I don't want to be seen as a bragger like Trixie. <laughs> but you're the best! Ugh, please, Spike, I said no. <sighs> If that's the way you want to be, then fine. Oh, how are we going to find an ocean major when I can't even see my own hoof in front of my face? Hold on. <laughs> Actually, it's a big one. What is so important that you cannot wait until morning to disturb Trixie? Twilight, you've got to come! Quick! I've already told you, Spike. 
Spike, I don't want to show up Trixie. No, you don't understand. It's... Uh, is that what I think it is? Major Lee. Great and powerful Trixie, you've got to vanquish the Ursa. Yeah, vanquish the weekend one. It took a lot of trouble to get that thing here. Wait, you brought this here? <gasps> Are you out of your little pony minds? But you're the great and powerful Trixie. Now remember, you defeated an Ursa Major. Uh, okay. Stand back. Piece of cake. <laughs> oh, come on, Trixie. Stop goofing around and vanquish it, eh? <laughs> Well, that was a dud. Yeah, come on. Where's all the cool explosions and smoke and stuff like earlier, you know? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> We brought an Ursa to town. You what? Don't worry, the great and powerful Trixie will vanquish it. I can't. What? Well, I can't. I never have. No one can vanquish an Ursa major. I just made the whole story up to make me look better. Made it up? up? Number 16. to Betsy. We knew you had ability, but not that much. I'm sorry. Please, please don't hate me. Hate, hate you? Why, whatever do you mean, darling? Well, I know how much you all hated Trixie's showing off with her magic tricks, and I just thought... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Magic's got nothing to do with it. Trixie's just a loud mouth. Most unpleasant. All hat and no cattle. So, you don't mind my magic tricks? Your magic is a part of who you are, Sugar Cube, and we like who you are. We're proud to have such a powerful, talented unicorn as our friend. And after whooping that Ursa's hindquarters, we're even prouder. You are? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. mm hmm Wow, Twilight! How'd you know what to do with that Ursa Major? That's what I was doing when you came looking for me. I was so intrigued by Trixie's bragging that I was compelled to do a little reading up on them. So it is possible to vanquish an Ursa Major all by herself? That wasn't an Ursa Major. It was a baby, an Ursa Minor. That was just a baby? And it wasn't rampaging. It was just cranky because someone woke it up. Oh. 
Well, if that was an Ursa Minor, then what's an Ursa Major like? You don't want to know. Huh. You may have vanquished an Ursa Minor, but you will never have the amazing, show-stopping ability of the great and powerful Trixie! <laughs> Why, that little... Just let her go. Maybe someday she'll learn her lesson. Now, about you two. Uh, <laughs> well, we're sorry that we woke up the Ursa Minor. We just wanted to see some awesome magic. Yeah, and the way you vanquished that Ursa Minor was awesome! We deserve whatever punishment you give us. For starters, you can clean up this mess. And what do you think, Spike? Should I give them number 25? Oh, 25, yes. And I think I deserve it, too. Huh? I think you're right. Sweet! Dear Princess Celestia, I have learned a very valuable lesson about friendship. I was so afraid of being thought of as a show-off that I was hiding a part of who I am. My friends helped me realize that it's okay to be proud of your talents, and there are times when it's appropriate to show them off, especially when you're standing up for your friends. So, you finally admit that you're the most talented unicorn in all of Ponyville? Well, yeah, but it's nothing to brag about. So, uh, how did it go with Rarity? Uh, she didn't go for the mustache. You know, Spike, that mustache has nothing to do with who you really are. Maybe you should just try being yourself. Or maybe the mustache wasn't enough. Maybe if I had a mustache and a beard. Oh, not this again. Okay, imagine me with a nice long Fu Manchu type beard. Or maybe a goatee. Oh, no, a soul patch. Right? Not too fast now, Angel Bunny. You don't want to get a tummy ache. <laughs> you really should eat more than that, don't you think? It's not playtime yet. I know you want to run, but just three more bites. Two more bites. One more bite. Pretty please. <laughs> Goodness, are you okay? <coughs> are you coughing because there's a carrot stuck in your throat? <coughs> because you need some water? <laughs> <gasps> because of that giant cloud of scary black smoke? I'll take that as a yes. My little pony, my little pony. Ah, my little pony. I used to wonder what Friendship could be My pony. Until you all shared its magic with me Big adventure Tons of fun A beautiful heart Faithful and strong Sharing kindness It's an easy feat And magic makes it all complete You have mine Do you know you're all my very best friends? Help! Smoke! It's headed this way and... Ah! Don't be such a scary pony. It's just me, future Equestria ball bouncing record holder. 6, 47. This calls for a celebration! Oh, no, Pinkie Pie. This is no time for celebration. This is a time for panic for... Oh, I'm gonna need balloons! One for every pony in Ponyville! There's... there's smoke. And, and where there's smoke, there's fire. And... Let's see! That's one, two, three, four, five, six, five, no, wait, seven? Pinkie Pie, now I have to start over. We're all gonna have to start over in a new village, because ours is gonna be... Hey, Rainbow Dash, wait up! Oh, please, this is an emergency. I need every pony to... Listen up! 
smoke is spreading over all of Equestria. Whoa! Oh, no, so that. That's what I've been trying to... But don't worry. I've just received a letter from Princess Celestia informing me that it is not coming from a fire. Oh, thank goodness. It's coming from a dragon. <gasps> a dragon? What in the name of all things cinnamon swirl is a full-grown dragon doing here in Equestria? Sleeping. Huh? According to Princess Celestia, he's taking a nap. His snoring is what's causing all this smoke. He should really see a doctor. That doesn't sound healthy at all. Well, at least he's not snoring fire. What are we meant to do about it? I'll tell you what we're meant to do. Give him the boot! Take that! And that! We need to encourage him to take a nap somewhere else. Princess Celestia has given us this mission, and we must not fail. If we do, Equestria will be covered in smoke for the next 100 years. <gasps> Talk about getting your beauty sleep. All right, everypony. I need you to gather supplies quickly. We've got a long journey ahead of us. Let's meet back here in less than an hour. Okay, girls, you heard her. The fate of Equestria is in our hubs. Do we have what it takes? Come on, you we betcha. can do it. Obviously. Yeah, we Come can on. do it. Um, actually. All right, girls, listen up. I'm mapping out the fastest route, but we've all got to keep a good pace if we expect to make it up the mountain by nightfall. M mountain The dragon is in that cave at the very top. Looks pretty cold up there. You bet it is. The higher you go, the chillier it gets. Good thing I brought my scarf. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'll keep you nice and cozy. Um, excuse me, Twilight. I know you're busy, but... Uh-huh. Oh, we could go this way. But if I could just have a second... Uh-huh. No, we want to avoid that. So, um, I was thinking that, um, maybe I should just stay here in Ponyville. Uh-huh. Oh, good. I'll stay here and... Wait, you have to come. Your way with wild animals will surely come in handy. I don't think I... Oh, and don't worry about your little friends in the meadow. Spike's got it covered while you're gone. You can count on me! Oh! Hey! Hey! Wait! I don't really think he's up to the task. Maybe... But... But... Are you sure you want Fluttershy to come along? I mean, that pony's afraid of her own shadow. She's just gonna slow us down. Oh, she's just a little nervous. Once we get going, I'm sure she'll be fine. All right, girls, move out. But, but... <gasps> Whoa, what was that? That is what it sounds like when a dragon snores. It's, it's so... Hi. Well, it is a mountain. I'm gonna fly up there and check it out. <gasps> Hold on now. I think we should all go up together. Safety in numbers and all. Oh, all right. I hear the only thing that sparkles more than the dragon scales are the jewels they use to build their nests. Ooh, if I play my cards right, I might be able to convince him to part with a few. Welcome to my cave, Rarity. Care for a diamond? Rawr! <laughs> <laughs> Girls, this is no laughing matter. Fluttershy, you're the expert on wild creatures. What do you think the dragon will be like? Fluttershy? Hey, what are you waiting for? An invitation? Ooh, I think I have one in my bag. <laughs> it, it's 
so, so steep. Well, it is a cliff. You could just, oh, I don't know, fly up here. Come on, Fluttershy, you can do it. Flap those wings. Oh, uh, okay. <sighs> We don't have time for this. What are you doing? I'll need this if I'm gonna take her around the mountain another way. Oh, around the mountain? That's gonna take them forever. <laughs> don't worry, Twy. We'll be there lickety split. That's 35 games in a row. Best of 71. We made it. Told you it was gonna take them forever. Your turn, Fluttershy. But it's so... Wide. Come on, Fluttershy. We should be much farther along by now. You could just leap on over. I... I don't know. There's nothing to be afraid of. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump. See? It's not very far. Just move your little rope. You can make it if you try with a hop, skip, and a jump. We don't have time for this. A hop, skip, and a jump. Just move your little rope. A hop, skip, and a jump. 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 Okay, here I go. A hop. That's it, you got Almost it. Almost there. Yep. Just don't look down. <laughs> I guess I forgot to jump. Keep it down. According to my map, we're entering an avalanche zone. The smallest peep could cause a huge rock slide. An... an ava... ava... Shh! Why a girl always packs extra accessories. Oh, please tell me I brought the tiara that goes with this. I uh, think we got bigger problems than making sure our hair bows match our horseshoes. <sighs> Sorry. Oh, no big whoop, sugar cube. Yeah, we'll just have to <sighs> climb over. <sighs> My apologies. Not your fault. <sighs> Still think it was a good idea to bring Fluttershy along? We're about to find out. We're here. Rainbow Dash, you'll use your wings to clear the smoke. Mm-hmm. Rarity and Pinkie Pie, You'll create a diversion to distract the dragon if things get a little hairy in there. Up 
Applejack. You're ready with the apples in case he decides to attack. <laughs> but it shouldn't come to that, because Fluttershy will do what she needs to do to wake him up. And between the two of us, we should be able to get him to understand why he needs to go. Is every pony ready? <laughs> okay, then. We're going in. So, what is the best way to wake up a sleeping dragon without upsetting him? Fluttershy? Oh, come on. Come on. We have to do this. Now! Every second longer that dragon sleeps is another acre of a quester that is covered in smoke. I... 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 I can't go in the cave. Uh, oh, great. She's scared of caves now, too. I'm not scared of caves. I'm scared of... What's that, Sugar Cube? I'm scared of dragons. What? I'm scared of dragons. <laughs> but Fluttershy, you have a wonderful talent dealing with all kinds of animals. Yes, because they're not dragons. Oh, come on! We've seen you walk right up to a horrible manticore like it was nothing. Yes, because he wasn't a dragon. Spike is a dragon. You're not scared of him. Yes, because he's not a huge, gigantic, terrifying, enormous, peak gnashing sharp scale having horn-wearing, smoke-snoring, could eat a pony in one bite, totally all-grown-up dragon. Afraid of dragons? Why did you say something before we came all the way up here? I was afraid to. Ugh. All of us are scared of that dragon. I'm not. Almost all of us are scared of that dragon. But we've got a job to do. So get in there with Twilight and show her what you're made of. I. I. I just. can't. Oh, Fluttershy. I'm going in. He probably just doesn't realize what he's doing. Right? Uh, yeah. Sure. Uh, you say so. <laughs> Mr. Dragon. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Mr. Dragon. <laughs> You're awake. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Twilight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sparkle and my friends and I are residents here in Equestria. <sighs> Ponyville, to be exact. We've come here to ask that you find another spot to take your nap. It's just that you seem to be doing an awful lot of snoring, and every time you do, you send out a terrible cloud of smoke. <laughs> Equestria simply can't survive a hundred years in a dark haze. You understand, don't you? So you'll find another place to sleep? <laughs> so much for <coughs> persuading him. Now what? <coughs> Obviously, this situation just calls for a little pony charm. Allow me, girls. I'm so sorry to interrupt. <clears throat> uh, but I couldn't possibly head back home without mentioning what handsome scales you have. Saying those scales have to be hidden away in some silly cave for a hundred years? <sighs> Personally. I think you should skip the snoozing and be out there, showing them off. Hmm. Obviously, I would be more than happy to keep an eye on your jewels while you're gone. <laughs> I was this close to getting that diamond. You mean, getting rid of that dragon? Oh, yeah, sure. What in tarnation? <laughs> Darling, you look ridiculous. Exactly! Sharing a laugh is a surefire way to get someone on your side. Hi! Apparently he doesn't like laughing. Poor sharing. All right, that's it. 
We've tried persuasion, charm, whatever it is Pinkie Pie does. <laughs> it's time to stop wasting time. I'm going in. Rainbow, no! Get out! <laughs> <laughs> about that. But you're bigger than she is, and you should know better. You should also know better than to take a nap where your snoring can become a health hazard to other creatures. But I... Don't you, but I mean, mister. Now, what do you have to say for yourself? I said, what do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> <laughs> there, there. No need to cry. You're not a bad dragon. You just made a bad decision. Now go pack your things. You just need to find a new place to sleep. That's all. You, <laughs> you did it! I knew you could do it! I put up with you furry little things. Spike, take a letter. <sighs> with pleasure. Dear Princess Celestia, I am happy to report that the dragon has departed our fair country and that it was my good friend Fluttershy who convinced him to go. This adventure has taught me to never lose faith in your friends. They can be an amazing source of strength and can help you overcome even your greatest fears. Always your faithful student, Twilight Sparkle. Twilight! You gotta come see this. She's just five away from a new pony record. 347, 348. Ah! Dragon! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? That awful dragon is back. <laughs> Pinkie Pie, you scared me. I mean, uh, you broke my concentration. It's okay, Rainbow Dash. Not every pony can be as brave as me. Perfect. <laughs> Just take the broken limbs down, Rarity. Don't y'all care about nothing other than pretty fine? Some pony has to. You are making an absolute mess of the town square, Applejack. Yeah, well, the storm's gonna make an even bigger mess if we don't prune all these loose branches so they don't tumble down on any pony. I simply cannot imagine why the Pegasus ponies would schedule a dreadful downpour this evening and ruin what could have been a glorious sunny day. Think more practical like, will you? They accidentally skipped a scheduled sprinkle last week, so we need a doozy of a downpour to make up for it is all. Oh no! My wonderfully styled mane shall be ruined! You should have
should have hurried up and finished the job already. Oh, ah, oh, oh, it's coming down too fast. Ah, oh, oh, ah, help me! Uh, there. Hunker down to your heart's content whilst I finish things. Oh, no, no, no! What now? I prefer not to get my hooves muddy. Gah, there is just no pleasing you, is there? Everything's gotta be just so. <laughs> well, and how does mudding my hooves serve any useful purpose? Y'all wouldn't know useful if it came up and bit you. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. Does so, does not. Does so, does not. Does so, does not. Does so infinity. Ha! Does not infinity plus one. <laughs> what say we go our separate ways before one of us says something she will regret? I reckon y'all are gonna say something you'll regret first. On the contrary, I believe it shall most certainly be you who says something you will regret first. I'm not saying anything. Nor am I. Y'all just be on your way then. After you! <laughs> perhaps we should stick together for now and find some shelter. Uh-huh. Perhaps we should. And fires. My little pony, my little pony, ah, my little pony. I used to wonder what friendship could be. My little pony. Until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have my Here, sort of. Oh, unacceptable. Applejack! Dirty! Applejack! Dirty! Twilight? Come inside, girls, quick! Whoa, Nelly. Is inside a tree really the best place to be in a lightning storm? It is if you have a magical lightning rod protecting your home like I do. Come on in! We are most grateful for your invitation. Thank you kindly for your hospitality. Uh, do be a polite house guest and go wash up, please, won't you? Mm. If I gotta spend one more second with that fuss budget rarity today, I can't be here responsible for what I'm gonna do. Some storm, huh? The Pegasus ponies sure have outdone themselves this time. I hope you and Applejack don't have any trouble getting home. It may indeed be a problem. Well, you're welcome to stay if need be. Spike is away in Canterlot on royal business. I'm home all alone tonight. <gasps> you and Applejack should totally sleep over. We'll have a slumber party. I've always wanted one of those. Oh, goodness. Uh, I do believe I have another engagement scheduled for this evening that completely slipped my mind until just now. <laughs> oh, silly me. I can't possibly stay here all night with Applejack. <laughs> Slumber 101, all you've ever wanted to know about slumber parties, but were afraid to ask. My own personal copy? It's a fantastic reference guide. You should see the table of contents. I've been waiting for a chance to use it, and today's the day. This is going to be so great. Yes, uh, great. <laughs> Tarnation! <laughs> now, wait just a gall darn minute. You make me wash the mud off my hooves, but it's okay for y'all to have mud all over your faces? Silly. This is called a mud mask. It's to refresh and rejuvenate your complexion. We're giving each other makeovers! <laughs> we have to do it. It says so in the book. Slumber 101, everything you... 
Oh, hey, <laughs> would you look at the time? I gotta skedaddle on home quick. I'm powerful late for, uh, for something. Uh, good night. <laughs> or maybe I'll sit here for a spell. Hooray, slumber party! What in the world is this for? Huh, to reduce the puffiness around one's eyes, of course. Puffiness, schmuffiness. That's good eating. <laughs> Isn't this exciting? We'll do everything by the book, and that will make my slumber party officially fun. Did you hear that, Applejack? You certainly would not want to do anything that would ruin Twilight's very first slumber party, would you? Of course not. You wouldn't either, I reckon. So do we have an agreement? You betcha. Oh, gross! You know, there's messy and there's just plain rude. You know, there's fussy and there's just plain getting on my nerves. Fortunately, I can get along with any pony, no matter how difficult she may be. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm the get along this pony you're ever gonna meet. That's not even a word. This is gonna be the bestest slumber party ever! Yay! Yay. So, how are you getting along over there, Applejack? Just fine, Rarity. This is so awesome. <laughs> Makeovers, check. Ooh, it says here we have to tell ghost stories. Who wants to go first? Me! I'd like to tell y'all the terrifying tale of the prissy ghost who drove every pony crazy with the unnecessary neatness. Ooh. I'm sure y'all are familiar with that one. Never heard of it, but I have a much better one. It's the horrifying story of the messy, inconsiderate ghost who irritated every pony within a hundred miles. Ooh! That's not a real story. You made it up. It is a ghost story. They're all made up. <gasps> I've got one. This story is called The Legend of the Headless Horse. It was a dark and stormy night, just like this one. And three ponies were having a slumber party, just like this one. And just when the last pony thought she was safe, there, standing right behind her, just inches away was... The Headless Horse! <laughs> Then you place one marshmallow on the top of the chocolate and be sure it's centered, that's critical, and then carefully put another perfectly square graham cracker on the top. And done! Ta-da! Ooh! Nah, you just ate them. <laughs> you could at least say excuse me. Oh, uh, well, I was just about to, but you interrupted me. Pardon. S'mores, check. Now the next item of fun we have to do is truth or dare. I dare Applejack to do something carefully and neatly for change. Oh, yeah? Well, I dare Rarity to lighten up and stop obsessing over every last little detail for a change. I think the truth of the matter is that some pony could stand to pay a little more attention to detail. And I think the truth is some pony ought to quit with her fussing so the rest of us can get things done. Um, I don't think this is how the game's supposed to work. You have to give an honest answer to any question or do whatever any pony dares you to do. I dares you to step outside and let your precious tatty mane get ruined again. <gasps> you have to. It's the rule. Ha! Fine. Ha, <laughs> ha,
<laughs> okay, I dare Applejack to play dress up in a frou frou glittery lacy outfit. <gasps> Happy. Fairy. <laughs> um, do I ever get a turn? I dare you to enter the next rodeo when it comes to town. I dare you not to enter the next rodeo that comes to town. I dare you to not comb your mane a hundred times before bed. And I dare you to comb yours just once. I, uh, I think we should check off truth or dare and move on. Let's see what our next fun, fun, fun thing is, shall we? Hmm, what does this mean? Pillow fight? Oh, please. I am not at all interested in participating in something so crude. <laughs> oh! It is on. some sleep. Keep your muddy hoofs on your side of the bed. My hoofs ain't muddy. They were. There might still be a little on them. They're right. See? <laughs> now who's being inconsiderate? <laughs> I have to make the bed again so the blanket will be right. Get up! That's not gonna happen. Geronimo! Hey! Ah, you did that on purpose. Um, yeah? Get up so I can fix it again. Can't hear you. Oh, I'm asleep. Shoo, shoo. I ain't budging. You will if you want any blanket. I will not! Yes, you will! Look! Will! Look! Will! Look! Will! Enough! It says right here that the number one thing you're supposed to do at a slumber party is have fun. And thanks to you two, I can't check that off. I've been trying my darndest to get along. No, it is I who have been trying my best. No, it was me. No, it was I. Me! I! I hope you're happy. Both of you, you've ruined my very first slumber party. The makeover, the s'mores, truth or dare, the pillow fight. I mean, is there anything else that could possibly go wrong? Sorry, I asked. take down all those loose branches in town. Not spiffy them up, but I... Out of my way, Missy. Time's a waste. Wait, stop! Stop! No waiting! No stopping! Go on! And that, my friends, is what we call getting her done. Sorry, Twilight. It's... Well, it's not okay. There's a giant tree branch in the middle of my bedroom. And the book doesn't say anything about having a giant tree branch at your slumber party. Or at least I haven't found that entry yet. <sighs> what 
Martin Tarnation are y'all doing over there? Cleaning up this mess some pony made. Who was that again? Oh, right, that's you! We gotta do something! Thinking BFF's brothers? There's nothing in here about branches. Rarity for pony's sake! Stop quitting the small stuff and help me get rid of this thing! I said hustle over here and help me! Look, I'm sorry, all right? What was that? I said I'm sorry! I should have listened to you when you noticed where this here branch would end up. Your annoying attention to detail would have saved us from this whole mess. But right now, you need to stop being so dang pussy, picking up all those little things, and help me move the one big thing in here that actually matters. Please. Uh, but I'll get all icky. Come, Sarni. What the? You? I mean, yes. Ickiness is often a side effect of hard work. But y'all need to get over it on account of I just can't fix this mess I made myself. I need your help. Um, let's do this. Well, they do have a section about backyard slumber parties. Is that what we're doing right now? Does this count as camping? Better? <laughs> Thanks. Oh, pretty. Where did these come from? They're not in the book either. <laughs> <laughs> Is it bigger than a barn? <laughs> nope. Is it smaller than a saddle? <laughs> no, only three of your 20 questions left. Oh, we're never gonna guess what you're thinking of. It could be anything. Are we getting warmer? Why, is it too cold in here for you? I can turn up the heat. She means, are we getting any closer with our guesses? Oh, no. And that technically counted as a question, so only two more left. Is it a six-legged pony with a purple polka-dotted mane and shooting stars coming out of his eyes? Who flies through the air all over the world to hide magic sparkly eggs? That's it! It, it is? is? No. <laughs> it's that. But it was just so nice to see you two finally getting along. I wanted you to be able to win together. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> See, we could have been having fun like this all along. If only some pony hadn't been so persnickety. Well, maybe she wouldn't have been if some pony else hadn't been so sloppy. Sorry for being such a pain in the patootie. Oh, no, I'm sure I was much worse. That's kind of you to say, but I'm the one who's sorry. Oh, I'm much more sorry than you are. <laughs> are not. Are too. Are not. Are too. Are not. <laughs> I declare my first slumber party a success. Yeah! <laughs> Have fun? Check. <laughs> now take two steps to your left. Uh, no, my left. W which is it? Well, that mess is your fault, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Dear Princess Celestia, it's hard to believe that two ponies who seem to have so little in common could ever get along. But I found out that if you embrace each other's differences, you just might be surprised to discover a way to be friends after all. So, who's up for another slumber party tomorrow night? <laughs> 
How about a week from Thursday? Oh, how about two weeks from Saturday? A month from now? <laughs> 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 What a gorgeous day. Rainbow Dash must have gotten up early for once and cleared all the clouds away. I bet all of Ponyville is going to be out enjoying the sunshine. What? Where is every pony? <gasps> is it some sort of pony holiday? Not that I know of. Does my breath stink? <sighs> Not more than usual. Is it... Zombies? Uh, not very likely. Not likely, but possible? Psst. Twilight! Spike! Come here! Come here! Hurry! Before she gets you! <laughs> Who? The zombie pony? Zombie pony? <laughs> Spike, there are no zombie ponies. Pinky, what are you doing here alone in the dark? I'm not alone in the dark. <gasps> okay, then, what are you all doing here in the dark? We're hiding from her. Could be my little pony. Until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure, tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness, it's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? Did you see her, Twyla? Did you see Zakora? Apple Bloom, I told you never to say that name. Well, I saw her glance this way. Glance evilly this way. And then a bunch of you flip out for no good reason. No good reason? You call protecting your kin no good reason? Why, as soon as my sister saw Zakara riding into town, she started shaking in her little horseshoes. Did not. So I swept her up and brought her here. I walked here myself. For safekeeping. Jack, I'm not a baby. I can take care of myself. Not from that creepy Zakara. She's mysterious, sinister, and spooky. <laughs> <gasps> Will you cut that out? Just look at those stripes. So garish. She's a zebra. A uh, what? A zebra. And her stripes aren't a fashion choice rarity. They're what she was born with. Born where? I've never seen a pony like that in these parts. Except her. Well, she's probably not from here. And she's not a pony. My books say that zebras come from a faraway land. But I've never seen her in Ponyville. Where does she live? That's just it. She lives in the Everfree Forest. <laughs> Sorry. The Everfree Forest just ain't natural. The plants grow. Animals care for themselves. And the clouds move. All on their own. <laughs> and that wicked enchantress Sakura lives there doing her evil stuff. Oh, she's so evil. I even wrote a song about her. Here we go. She's an evil enchantress. She does evil dances. And if you look deep in her eyes, she'll put you in trances. Then what will she do? She'll mix up an evil brew. Catchy. It's a work in progress. This is all just a lot of gossip and rumors. Now tell me, what exactly have you actually seen Zakora do? Well, once a month, she comes into Ponyville. Ooh. Then she lurks by the stores. Oh, my. And then she digs at the ground. Good gracious. Okay, I'm sorry, but how is any of this bad? Maybe she comes to town to visit. Yeah, maybe she's just trying to be neighborly. 
And maybe she's not lurking by the stores. Maybe she's going to them, lurk free, to do some shopping. Yeah, every pony likes to shop. You know what I think? Apple Bloom, hush and let the big ponies talk. I am a big pony. What about digging at the ground? You gotta admit, that's weird. What if she's digging for innocent creatures? I'm sure there's an explanation for everything Zakora does. And if any pony here were actually brave enough to approach her, she would find out the truth. Well, I'm brave enough. I'm gonna find out myself. <sighs> <gasps> You ponies are being ridiculous. Well, I heard that Sakura eats hay. Pinky, I eat hay. You eat hay. Yeah, but I heard it's the evil way she eats hay. Hey, where's Apple Bloom? The door's open. She went outside, and Zakora's still out there. Oh, that silly little filly, I told her to stay put. Spike, you stay here in case Apple Bloom comes back. Will do. Folk. Those leaves of blue are not a joke. Y you keep your creepy mumble jumbo to yourself, you hear? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Was that supposed to scare Oh, brother. Beware! Beware! Yeah, back at you, Zakora. You and your lame curse are the ones who better beware. And you. Why couldn't you just listen to your big sister? Uh, I. Who knows what kind of nasty curse Sakura could have just put on you? Just like in my song! Evil Enchantress with the dances and the trances! You guys, there's no such thing as curses! Well, that's interesting to hear coming from Miss Magic Pants herself. My magic, real magic, comes from within. It's a skill you're born with. Curses are artificial, fake magic. It's conjured with potions and incantations, while smoke and mirrors meant to scare. But curses have no real power. They're just an old ponytail. Just you wait, Twilight. You're gonna learn that some ponytails really are true. You wait, Twilight. Some ponytails really are true. Since we follow you up, well, be the big tasty stew. Oh, watch out! <laughs> uh, what a dream. Curses, schmurses. Whoa. <laughs> Maybe Zakora cursed my hair. <laughs> <gasps> or she cursed my horn! No, 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 no! None of these books have a cure! Ugh, there has to be a real reason for this! An illness? An allergy? A curse! I said a real reason. Something that points to something real. How about this one? Supernaturals? Spike, the word supernatural refers to things like ghosts and spirits and zombies, which are as make-believe as curses. This book is just a bunch of hooey. But what if you're wrong, Twilight? What if this really is a... A, a purse? How could it be a purse? Pinky, what happened? Because the purse was... Because the purse was... Hey, say it. Don't spray it, Pinky. Trying to save out the core. Oh. He slapped his ball with a curse. I'm 
I'm afraid I have to agree. <laughs> I hate to say I told you so, Twilight, but I told you so. <gasps> it's a curse, I tells you. But Fluttershy seems just fine. Yes, there doesn't seem to be a thing wrong with her. Fluttershy? Are you okay? Is there something wrong with you? Would you care to tell us? So you're not gonna tell us? Yes, you're not, or yes, you will. Good gravy, girl. What's wrong with you? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious! <laughs> Look at all of you. We got Harity, Rainbow Crush, Spitty Pie, Apple Teeny, Flutter Guy, and, uh, I got nothing. Twilight Sparkle. I mean, seriously, I can't even work with that. <laughs> this is no joke, Spike. Now start looking for more books so I can find a cure. I think we'll find the cure to this curse at Zakora's place. It's not a curse. I agree with Dash. We'll go to Zakora's and force her to remove this hex. It's not a hex either. This is all my fault. If I hadn't followed Zakori in the first place, none of this would have happened. I just gotta fix this. Now, where does she think she's going this time? I don't care what you say, Twilight. It's time to pony up and confront Zakora. Come on, girls. Are you with me? I am. And I as well. Oh, I don't know. Seems awfully dangerous. <laughs> How about you, Applejack? Uh, Applejack? She's blind! Ah! Some pony stepped on her! Or sat on her? Rarity's hair! Oh! Oh, oh Pinky, what are you doing? <laughs> really? Never ah! in a personal space? No! <laughs> Apple Bloom is gone too! I bet they went after Zakora. Well, we better go find them. <laughs> Come on, girls. Let's go. <laughs> oh, dear. <sighs> oh, this is so unseemly. <gasps> hey, a little help here. Oopsie. Sorry. Ow! Uh, Spike? Are you coming? Nope. Uh, gotta stay here and look for a cure. Toilet Flopple! Stop right there! <clears throat> Turn around right now, Missy! No! No! You can't ignore a direct order from your big sister! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Applejack, but I'm the big sister now. Apple Bloom, you come back here right this instant! I'm gonna tell Big Macintosh on you! Oh, pony feathers. Come on, girls. We've got to get to Zakora's. Hurry! Oh. <laughs> Easier said than done. Hey! Wait for me! Oh. 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 Rainbow! Thanks, Celestia. There's no time to lose. I need to get to Zakara's pronto. Giddy up, pony! Excuse me? Yeah! What the? No, Rainbow Dash. The other way! <laughs> oh, I look horrible. Blue face looks horrible! Oh, my. That place really does look horrible. Nice decorations, if you like creepy. Wakati, morning halamwe, wakati halumba. She stole your soul? Oh, Pinky, doesn't sound anything like your song. Uh, 
she's an evil enchantress and she does evil dances. And if you look deep in her eyes, she will put you in trances. Then what will she do? She'll mix up an evil brew. Then she'll gobble you up in a big tasty stew. So, watch out. You saw those terrible things. Now do you believe us, Twilight? Scary-looking masks, confusing incantations, and a great big bubbling cauldron? Oh, everything is pointing to Zakora being bad. Or what if Zakora's just making soup? Mmm, the perfect temperature for ponies, I presume. Now, where is that little apple bloom? Or what if she's making apple bloom soup? My precious brew. We're on to you, Zakora. I didn't want to believe that you cursed us, but the evidence is overwhelming. You made me look ridiculous. You made me sound ridiculous. <laughs> you ruined my horn. How dare you? You destroy my home, destroy my work, then rudely accuse me of being a jerk? You put this curse on us, now you're gonna uncurse us! It is unwise to venture down this road. Your actions will make my anger explode! Where is Apple Bloom? <clears throat> Zakara, I think I found all the things you asked for. What in Ponyville is going on here? <gasps> Apple Bloom, you're okay! Why wouldn't I be? Because Zakara is an evil enchantress who cursed us and was gonna cook you up into soup! <laughs> oh, Twilight, did those silly feelies finally get in your head? You know there's no such thing as a curse. Apple Bloom, sweetie, you can't just stand there and tell me this isn't a curse. This isn't a curse. If you will remember back, the words I spoke were quite exact. Beware, beware, you pony folk. Those leaves of blue are not a joke. It was a warning about that blue plant. It's called Poison Joke. That plant is much like Poison Oak, but its results are like a joke. What in the hay does that mean? It means this plant does not breed wrath. Instead, this plant just wants a laugh. Will some pony please talk normal? I think what she's saying is that when we ran into Save Apple Bloom, we ran into the Poison Joke. All our problems are just little jokes that played on us. Little jokes? Very funny. Okay, fine. But what about the cauldron? And the chanting? And the creepy decor. Treasures of the native land where I am from. This one speaks hello, and this welcome. Not welcoming at all, if you ask me. The words I chanted were from olden times, something you call a nursery rhyme. But the cauldron, the apple bloom soup? Looky here, Twilight. That pot of water wasn't for me. It was for all these herbal ingredients. The cure for poison joke is a simple old natural remedy. You just gotta take a bubble bath. But I tried to find a cure in all my books and couldn't find anything. What book has this natural remedy? Here is the book, you see? Sad that you lack it in your library. Actually, I do have this book. But I didn't look inside because the title was so... Weird. Supernaturals. Natural remedies and cure-alls that are simply super. I... I... I'm so sorry, Zakora. I had the answer the whole time. If only I'd bothered to look inside. <laughs> Maybe next time you will take a second look and not judge the cover of the book. <laughs> Zakora, 
Would you be kind enough to mix up another batch of the herbal bath? Mix it up, I certainly will. Yet I am missing an herb from Ponyville. But whenever Zakora comes to town, all the shops are mysteriously closed. Oh, well, I think we can help you with that. <laughs> Look, Rose, how awful! The wicked enchantress has cursed them all! The horror! The Daisy, we need to talk. Dear Princess Celestia, my friends and I all learned an important lesson this week. Never judge a book by its cover. Someone may look unusual or funny or scary, but you have to look past that and learn who they are inside. Real friends don't care what your cover is. It's the contents of a pony that count. And a good friend, like a good book, is something that will last forever. Your faithful student, Twilight Sparkle. Miss Sakura, I would love to get the recipe for this bath. It's simply luxurious. Applejack! Hey, where's Applejack? <laughs> I'm right here, little sis. I ain't tiny no more. Oh, I have never felt so lovely in all my life. Oh my gosh, I never realized how horrible it is not to be able to talk. I mean, I love talking so much, and when I couldn't talk anymore, my tongue was all... Don't you agree, Fluttershy? Yes. La 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 la. Thank you, little squirrel. But remember, these flowers are for Princess Celestia. Only the prettiest ones will do. La 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 la. <gasps> Hello, little guy. I've never seen anything like you before. Oh, are you hungry? Here you go. <gasps> I guess you were hungry. You're the cutest thing ever. I can't wait to show you to my friends. Could be my little pony. Until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure, tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness, it's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Did you know you're all my very best friends? Oh, hurry up, Spike. This place isn't going to clean itself. It also didn't mess itself up. Princess Celestia will be here tomorrow. I thought this was just an unofficial casual visit. There's nothing casual about a visit from royalty. I want this place to be spotless, and you've barely made a dent in the clutter. Maybe you should start reading them one at a time. <laughs> oh. Everything's got to be perfect. No time for fooling around. You know, this would be an awful lot easier if there weren't two of us here getting under each other's feet. Great idea. You clean, I'll go see how everyone else's preparations are coming. Or maybe I should... <laughs> what happened to the rest of her name? We couldn't fit it all in. You can't hang a banner that says, Welcome, Princess Celeste. Take it down and try again. That looks perfect. Keep up the good work. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Cake. How's the banquet coming? 
Uh, it would be coming a little better if... Pinky, what are you doing? Those sweets are supposed to be for the princess. I know. That's why I'm tasting them. Some pony needs to make sure that everything is tasty enough to touch the wild tongue. And I, Pinkie Pie, declare that these treats are fit for a king, or a queen, or a princess. <laughs> Twilight, Pinky, you won't believe. Oh, I'm sorry. I, am I interrupting? No, not at all. Come on in and make yourself at home. What's going on, Fluttershy? You won't believe what I found at the edge of the Everfree Forest. Come on out, little guy. It's okay. <gasps> Three? They're amazing. What are they? I'm not sure. I'm also not sure where these other two came from. I'll take one off your hooves. I've never seen anything so adorable. Besides, it'll be nice to have a companion for Spike so he won't bother me so much while I'm studying. Pinky, do you want the other one? Ugh, a parasprite? Are you kidding? Ugh. A pair of what? How could you not like Ugh. Now I gotta go find a trombone. A what? A trombone, you know. Aww. Uh, typical Pinky. Stand still, Rainbow Dash. Oh, I can't. I need to fly. This is way too boring for me. Do you want to look nice for Princess Celestia or not? Wow. Rarity, those outfits are gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you, Twilight. Nice to know someone appreciates my talents. Ugh, so boring. Huh? What's that sound, Twilight? <laughs> wow, what are they? The better question is, where did they come from? I only had one a minute ago. Uh, I'll take one. Me too. Oh, they're perfect. Does any pony know where I can find an accordion? <laughs> Girls, hello! This is important! Duh, thanks a lot! Oh, the decorations, the banquet. I really hope everything comes together in time for tomorrow. There to worry about. Spike! Wake up! What happened? Huh? Ah! What's going on? Where did they come from? I don't know. The little guy got hungry in the night. So I gave him a snack, but I have no idea where these others came from. Oh no! They're messing up all my hard work! The princess will be here in a few hours! <sighs> Spike, help me round up these little guys. What does it look like I'm doing? <sighs> I know, I know. Stop fooling around. Are you adorable? But you're also quite useful. Oh, are you okay? <gasps> gross, gross, gross! No creature that behaves so revolting. 
insultingly as allowed in my boutique. <laughs> Look, Rarity, Applejack loaned me a harmonica. <laughs> Isn't that great? <gasps> and not a moment too soon. Uh, Pinky, I'm a little busy right now. And I'm not. You know how many more instruments I've got to find? A lot. That's how many. Now, if we split the list between us, we might just make it in time. Please, Pinky, I don't have time for some silly scavenger hunt. I've got a real problem. You've got a real problem, all right. And a banjo is the only answer. <gasps> I see we're having the same problem. Ditto! Fluttershy knows everything about animals. I'm sure she can tell us how to stop them from multiplying. <laughs> Or not. Do something, Fluttershy. Can't you control them? I've tried everything I know. I've tried begging and pleading and beseeching and asking politely and... under control before the princess arrives, it'll be a total disaster. Ew! If you ask me, it's already a total disaster. Here's all those apples you wanted, Fluttershy. But I still can't figure why I need so many. <laughs> what do we do? I got it. No pony can herd like Applejack. Yeah, we can drive him back into the forest. I'll wrestle him up, but I'll need every pony's help to do it. Twilight, you and Rarity wait over there. I'll herd the little critter straight at you like a funnel. Rainbow Dash, you and Fluttershy stay on top of them. Don't let them fly away. Aye, aye. Yeah! <laughs> All right, y'all. Here goes nothing. Look out, Rarity! That one's fixing to get away! Keep a lead on him, Rainbow Dash! Hold on, girls! We're almost there! Pinky! Twilight! We don't have much time! You're telling me the princess could arrive at any moment! Exactly! That's why I need you gals to drop what you're doing and help me find some maracas! Maracas? Pinky, we've got much bigger problems than missing maracas! <gasps> you're right! Getting a tuba has to be our number one goal! And you are also stubborn! Forget her, ladies. Focus! Head them up and move them out! All right! Ouch. We did it! Nice work, Applejack. Couldn't have done it without y'all. Now let's get back and clean up the mess they made before the princess arrives. Okay, everyone knows what to do, right? We gotta work extra hard to make up for lost time. Where did they come from? Well, I may have kept just one. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. They're just so cute. We don't have time to keep rounding up these things. What do we do now? We call in the Weather Patrol. Yeah. Ah! Time to take out the adorable trash.
instruments for one second, you're ruining our efforts to save Ponyville! Me? Ruin? I'm not the ruiner! I am the ruin me! Or is it ruin us? Ruin it? Come on, girls. There's no reasoning with that one. She's a few apples short of a bushel. Hey! I'm trying to tell you all that the ruining is on the other hoof! If you just slow down and listen to me! anymore. Oh no, if they get inside my store, every pony for herself! My outfit! Come on, shoot! Get out! Naughty! Naughty! Creature's gonna eat the apple family's crap. Brace yourself, y'all. Here they come. <gasps> Didn't see that one coming. Gone mad. Sikora, these little guys are devouring Ponyville, and the princess is on her way. Can you help us, please? Oh, monster of so little size. Is that a pair of sprite before my eyes? I don't know. Is it? Tales of crops and harvests consumed. If these creatures are in Ponyville, you're doomed. Rainbow Dash, you distract them. Yeah! Good! Everyone else, we need to build an exact copy of Ponyville right over there. We've got less than a minute! Sikora was right. We're doomed. Oh no, the princess's procession is here! It's all over!
Twilight Sparkle, my prized pupil. Hello, Princess. So lovely to see you again, as well as your friends. So, how was the trip? Hit much traffic? What is this? <laughs> These creatures are adorable. They're not that adorable. I'm terribly honored that you and the good citizens of Ponyville have organized a parade in honor of my visit. Parade? Oh, yes, the parade! Unfortunately, that visit is going to have to wait for another time. I'm afraid an emergency has come up in Philadelphia. Apparently, there's been some sort of infestation. An infestation? Yes, a swarm of incredibly bothersome creatures has invaded the poor town. I'm sorry, Twilight, to have to put you all through so much trouble. Trouble? <laughs> what trouble? Before I have to go, would you care to give me your latest report on the magic of friendship in person? My report? Haven't you learned anything about friendship? Actually, I have. I've learned that sometimes the solution to your problems can come from where you least expect it. It's a good idea to stop and listen to your friends' opinions and perspectives. Even when they don't always seem to make sense. I'm so proud of you, Twilight Sparkle. And I'm very impressed with your friends as well. It sounds like you're all learning so much from each other. Thank you, Princess. Hey! What happened to the Princess? Emergency in Philadelphia. Some sort of infestation. Oh, no! Have they got Paris Brights, too? Well, have Tuba, we'll travel. I think the princess can handle it. So you knew what those critters were all along, huh, Pinkie Pie? Well, duh! Why do you think I was so frantic to get my hooves on all these instruments? I tried to tell you. We know, Pinkie Pie, and we're sorry we didn't listen. Oh, sorry, 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 Pinkie. Real sorry, Pinkie. You're a great friend, even if we don't always understand you. Thanks, guys. You're all great friends, too. Even when I don't understand me. You saved my reputation with Princess Celestia. And more importantly, you saved Ponyville. <laughs> or not. <gasps> Spike, wake up! Wake up, wake up! It's winter wrap up day! Huh? Huh? Mommy? Winter wrap up! You're not mommy. Spike, the first day of spring is tomorrow, so every pony in Ponyville needs to clean up winter. Now help me get ready! Clean up winter? Who cleans up winter? Don't they just use magic to change the seasons like we do in Canterlot? No, Spike. Ponyville was started by Earth ponies, so for hundreds of years they've never used magic to clean up winter. It's traditional. <sighs> It's ridiculous. No magic. Puh. Okay, let's see. Scarf, check. Saddle, check. Boots, check. Spike refusing to get up and going back to sleep? Check. It's a good thing I'm so organized. I'm ready. Bright and early. Oh, maybe a little too early. My little pony, my little pony. Ah, my I used to wonder what friendship could be my Until you all shared its magic with me Big adventure Tons of fun A beautiful heart, faithful and strong Sharing kindness It's an easy feat And magic makes it all complete You have my must be the Team Vest's rarity design. Blue for the weather team, green for the plant team, and tan for the animal team. I wonder which Team Vest I'll be wearing. I'll take a blue vest, the same color as my blankie, which I think I hear calling my name. Spike, Spike, come to bed. Ugh, it's too early. Thank you, everypony, for being here bright and early. 
We need every single pony's help to wrap up winter and bring in spring. <laughs> now, all of you have your vests and have been assigned to your teams. So let's do even better than last year and have the quickest winter wrap up ever! <laughs> oh, this is so exciting! All right, every pony, find your team leader and let's get galloping! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, gosh, where should I go? I'm not sure where I'd fit in. <laughs> what exactly does every pony do? Three months of winter coolness and awesome holidays. We've kept our hoopsies warm at home, time off from work to play. But the food we've stored is running out and we can't grow in this cold. And even though I love my boots, this fashion's getting old. The time has come to welcome spring And all things warm and green But it's also time to say goodbye It's winter we must clean How can I help? I'm new, you see What does every pony do? How do I fit in without magic? I haven't got a clue Winter wrap-up, winter wrap-up Let's finish our holiday cheer Winter wrap-up, winter wrap-up Cause tomorrow spring is here Cause tomorrow spring is here So the families can grow. Winter apple, winter apple. Let's finish our holiday cheer. Sunshine, everyone it feeds. Apples, carrots, celery stalks, colorful flowers too. We must work so very hard. It's just so much to do. Winter wrap up, winter wrap up. Let's finish our holiday cheer. Winter wrap up, winter wrap up. Cause tomorrow spring is here. Winter wrap up, winter wrap up. Cause tomorrow spring is here. Cause tomorrow spring is here. Now that I know what they all do, I have to find my place and help with all of my heart. Tough task ahead I face. How will I do without my magic? Help the earth pony way. I want to belong, so I must do my best today. belongs to a team. What should I do? Where should I go? All right, team, you're cleared for takeoff. Rainbow Dash. Oh, hey, Twilight, what's up? What are you doing? Sending off one of my flight crews to retrieve the birds that have flown south for the winter. Oh, can I help? How about if I help clear out the clouds? Um, right, no wings. Sorry, Twilight. <gasps> Great. Now what do we do? I don't know about you, but I'm gonna be nappy. Come oh. on, Spike. This is serious business. Winter needs to be wrapped up, and I'm determined to do my part. Somehow. Rarity, please tell me there's something, anything I can help you with. Well. How would you like to help create Ponyville's finest bird's nests? Bird's nests? 
Why, yes. When the weather team guides the birds back north for the spring, they'll need a place to live and lay their eggs. Wow, Rarity. That one's really beautiful. Oh, why, thank you most sincerely. Would you like to try your hoof at a nest? Would I? Yes! Where do I begin? Okay, now. Uh, take some of that straw and hay over there, and a little bit of branch. Now, weave them through there. Yes! Uh, take some ribbon. Yes! Oh, uh, no, no, not there. Oh, oh, yes! Uh, uh, tuck it in over there, uh, but be careful not to... I don't know. I, I guess that will do. Oh, dear. There! It looks just like yours. Oh, my. That nest needs to be condemned. Oh, Spike. It's not so bad. Uh, maybe the birds can use it as a... An outhouse? Spike. It's just fine. It's just a little rough around the edges. Uh, let me lend you a hoof. Let's just untie this ribbon, and if we take out these sticks Aww. here, we shape this. I think we lost her. Oh, and we need to weave the string in. Hello, Twilight! Wow, Pinkie Pie, you're quite the skater. Probably the best skater I've ever seen. Thanks, Twilight. I've been doing this since I was an itty bitty little, little Twinkie Pinkie. Just comes naturally. Which is probably why they designated me the Lake Scorer. I cut lines in the lake with my skate. That way, when the rest of the weather team comes here to break the ice, it'll be easy as pie! How clever. When the thick ice begins to melt, it'll break along the lines. Well, you sure have a lot of work ahead of you. There's quite a few lakes in Ponyville. <laughs> Tell me about it. Hey, Twilight, want to help me out? Would I? Come on, put on those skates over there. I bet you'll be a natural, too. Okay. Yay! Uh... Maybe on second thought. Hey, what are you talking about? You said you wanted to be helpful. Yippee! Now get out there! <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! Spear! Spear! Yeah! Oh boy! You are a natural, Twilight! <laughs> a natural disaster! <laughs> Twilight, you did a great job your first time around. I'm sure my first time was just as wobbly and bobbly and crash horrific as yours. Really? No. <laughs> but did I make you feel better? <laughs> yeah, I guess. I bet you'll be super awesome at something that keeps your hooves on the ground. I know. Fluttershy could probably use your help with the critters. Well, I'm pretty good with little animals. Yeah, I'll go help her. Uh, it's uh, that away. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, little sleepy heads. Hope you had some wonderful dreams and restful hibernation. But it's time to get up now. Spring is coming. Oh, how cute. Aren't they? This is my favorite task of the whole season, when I get to see all my little animal friends again. Uh, what's hibernation? It's like a long sleep. Long sleep? Yes. Wake up, little porcupines. Animals often hibernate through the winter to save their energy and eat less food. I definitely like the idea of hibernation, except for the eat less food part. Oh, but just look at all these warrens and dens. I'm worried that I won't be able to wake up every animal before spring comes. Well, I'll help Fluttershy. Oh, you will? Oh, that would be wonderful. Okay, let's start there. Hello! Wake up, little friends. Wherever you are, spring is coming! I wonder which cute little furry creatures I've awoken. Winter 
to wrap up stuff is a lot harder than it looks. Right, because there's no magic. Why don't you just use magic, Twilight, and get it done the right way? No, Spike. I have to do it the traditional way. Ponyville has never needed magic to wrap up winter. But they never had you here before either. Think of how much quicker they can wrap up winter with your magic. No, no, no! I'm gonna find some other way that I can help out if it kills me! <sighs> Keep pushing, camera! That's it, Bumpkin! I know it's hard work, but you guys are doing great! Yee-haw! Hey, Applejack, how's everything going? Oh, just dandy. A little slow starting, but peachy all the same. There's a lot of ground to clear, you hear? We can't even start the planting and the watering until we get all this heap of snow hot-tailed out of here. Well, I'd like to help. <clears throat> well, I, I don't know, Twilight. Just give me a chance. Well, I, I never turn down a hard worker, but... <laughs> quicker they could wrap up winter with your magic. Your magic, your magic, your magic, your magic. I could use a come to life spell. Oh, here goes. <laughs> hmm. She's awful strong for such a little pony. My girl, following my advice. And what in tarnation does that mean? Uh-oh. Slow down. Slow down! Twilight, you use magic. The nerve! Can you believe her? That's not how we do it around here, Twilight. And especially not on my farm. Well, see, I just wanted to... Oh! Twilight, come on out. I'm a winter mess up. Well, you're good at a lot of things, just not nest making, ice skating, animal waking, snow clearing. Oh, thanks a lot for making me feel so much better. That's what I'm here for, sister. Rainbow Dash, y'all on the weather team need to melt the rest of this snow here on the ground and the trees pronto. Got it! You can't. My poor little animal's homes will get flooded if the snow melts too fast. Got it? I'm telling you, Rainbow, you gotta melt that snow now. No, you simply must wait. Okay, go! Stop! Go! Stop! Go! Stop! Ugh. Make up your minds! Oh, what in Equestria are all you arguing about? This sort of silliness is why we were late for spring last year, and the year before that, and the year before that. Did she say late? I was hoping my amazingly inspirational speech would urge everyone to do better than last year. But now it looks like we're going to be later than ever. I mean, just look at this catastrophe. The ice scorers made the ice chunks too big to melt. The nest designer is horrendously behind. We need several hundred, and she's only made one. <laughs> and don't get me started on all the clouds still in the sky, the icicles in the trees. Oh, this isn't good. Not at all. And it's gonna be all to pieces disastrous if we can't get our seeds all planted. Chillax, Applejack. We're busting our chops as fast as we can. No, not fast. You have to wake animals slowly. Uh, AJ? Oh, good gravy. Caramel lost the grass seeds again, didn't he? Uh, yep. <laughs> Did 
Archie Doo accidentally went north to get the southern birds. Oh, that feather brain. Didn't she learn her lesson last year when she went west? Oh, no, what do no, you want me to do? That's what we've done for this whole year. Oh, no. oh, Stop oh, this at once. We don't have time to argue. It's almost sundown. Spring is going to be late again. Another year of scandal and shame. If only we could be more organized. Spike, get my checklist and clipboard. Stat! Ah, yes, ma'am. Stop, Stop every pony! Stop! It is not gonna work there. Sorry. I know you all want to complete your jobs on time, but arguing is no way to go about it. What you need is organization. And I'm just the pony for the job. have you to thank for it. If it weren't for your organizing skills, we would still be arguing. Uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> it was a team effort. And since you helped every team, we have an official vest for you. We give you the title, All Team Organizer. Gosh, I don't even know what to say. Thank you, every pony. And hereby I declare that winter is wrapped up on time! Yay! Spike's sure gonna be in for a hog-sized surprise when that last piece of ice melts. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Princess Celestia, Winter Wrap-Up was one of the most special things I've ever been a part of here in Ponyville. It helped me to learn that we all have hidden talents, and if we're patient and diligent, we're sure to find them. And as always, with good friendship and teamwork, ponies can accomplish anything. How's that, Spike? Spike? Oh, Spike. <laughs> 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 